Poe's got some creepy haircut. We got any clips from uh, Poe's show? Yeah, we do. Know. And and Danny walked out. It's a whole thing that happened. Danny walked out of what? I don't know if we have time to get into it. I know we don't have time to get into it. This is the setup for after yeah. the oh, okay. uh, the interview. Yeah. Danny, what happened on Saturday? No, I didn't walk out. I, I left when uh, when my shift was over. Oh, <laughs> Someone man. didn't realize that theirs was over as well. And, <laughs> and just kept going. And well, just I love kept how... Going. I love how when we do our radio show, Poe is ridiculously strict about who comes up here and you have to have the proper ID and fill out all these forms. No. And then when he does a radio show, there is, what, between 30 and 40 people up here. Sure. Absolutely. That's no exaggeration either. Wow. His pictures, it's all over. A lot of folk. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, thanks, Danny, but Frank's here. No problem. How do we start this thing? <laughs> wow. Well, Master Poe had a show on Saturday night. That's right. Yeah, well. The yeah. arena. What was it called? The arena. Keep them. The arena. Yeah, the arena with uh, Master. The arena. And just so everyone understands, the players. Uh, Danny produces the Saturday Night Virus, right? That is correct. I did not know that. Either. Yeah. Huh? That is that is true. Very cool. And Master Paul, how did you think it went? I'm not sure. I haven't heard it yet. Well, how do you? Did you I had fun. But did you have a feel like, oh, this is uh, going okay, or what? Uh, uh, it's the first time I, I've ever uh, did a radio show, so the only thing I could say is that I enjoyed myself. I enjoyed that um, I had fantastic guests, and uh, it was just uh, it was fun. I I I, uh, I just have to say it was fun. Okay, is this uh, is this you? Can I have an us? Us. 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 That was fantastic. And there were no duplicate uses in there. Your show was an hour long, right? Uh, yes. <laughs> that was all the uses in an hour. <laughs> no, wow. no, 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 no. That was all, that was only Poe's uses in an hour. We oh. also had he also had uh, some guests in there that were using as well. Uh. Why does everybody us? <laughs> now, Poe, why were there so many people here Saturday night? Um, I saw the pictures on the message board. I was amazed at how many people were here to watch you do your uh, show. Well, I had my students that came down, my advanced students, and uh, there was about seven people. Um, then I had fans of the show and, and, and friends of mine that came down. I had my long life, uh, I'd have to say he's my, my partner, my blood, <laughs> my blood brother, because he and I uh, got into an incident where we almost died. And he was there with his wife, his, his son, his girlfriend, and, uh, and his friend. And Wait, his wife? His wife and his girlfriend or his son's girlfriend? His son's girlfriend. <clears throat> okay. And I, I, I emailed Steve while I was getting my haircut, my marine cut haircut. How long um, was an email? Three seconds? <laughs> Just a fucking, it's a razor on the head. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Vietnam. <laughs> Beginning to pull those jobs. So and um, he, he wanted to find out how many people were coming, and, and I said, I'm, I'm not sure. I think maybe 15 or 20. Yeah, but let's clarify something really quickly. Sure. The only reason why why you were being asked was because I had heard through the rumor mill that you were having a, a, a small party up here. So that's that. So Steve wanted to clarify your guest list. Let me see a party. We had 40 people. We, we had bleaches and they were all sitting down. They all had suits on. We what had all the excuse me. Wait, that's had, a, hold on. Hold, <laughs> on. hold on. No, 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 no. This is your the, show. I saw the pictures. <laughs> they, Nobody all, had a suit on. No one had a suit I, on. Although I did, see, I did see a guy in Maybe a blue and cornrows. <laughs> I had about four of my students that had suits. Um, my blood brother had a suit on. His wife was okay. was also dressed up very, very nice. She wasn't in a suit, I hope. How many people were no. here? Safe to say, Danny. It was it was probably about thirty people. Thirty people. Without exaggeration, it's probably about thirty people. Why would you think it's a good idea to have thirty people when you're going to do a radio show? Well, I've never done a radio show before, and I didn't know exactly how many people were going to come. I that... thought I thought about twenty. I'm sorry. Go Wouldn't ahead. that be a distraction, though? Um, because now you have to worry about uh, them, make sure they're comfortable and happy, oh, make and, sure they don't well, need anything. And not, only, not only that, but also distracting the show that was on while these people were filing in and, and milling about. 
you know, because Big Kev, he, he's trying to do a show, and he's wondering why there's 800 people showing up. And so that was kind of distracting. No, he's, for him. Watch, he's wondering why anybody showed up. When Big Kev does a show, if one maintenance guy walks in, Kev goes, my God, a fan base. His audience doubled. <laughs> yes, um, my guests did come in, and they did all their paperwork. Everything was filed nice and neat, and uh, there was not one incident. There were, we didn't have any liquor. There wasn't any drugs because that doesn't happen. Um, and everyone was very respectful. They sat down and watched the show. I got to tell you, I'm looking at pictures right now, and uh, it looks like it's a bar. I mean, there's a lot of people in that shot. <laughs> the gentleman over there, the bald guy, Yeah, yes. that's my buddy. That Remember that time I, I told you we got attacked by about 14, 15 guys? Yeah. He, he is the gentleman that uh, was with me that night. Although he didn't get a chance to tell his side of the story. I like his side better. Uh, the guy over there with the black shirt, that's Willie. He's one of my top knife fighters and stick fighters. The guy He's a very away? dangerous individual. The guy with the gray hair looking away? Correct. He's very dangerous? Very dangerous. Extremely dangerous. He's knocked people out in tournaments. How long uh, has Willie been doing fucking knife fighting? Look at all those suits. Uh, he's been with me <laughs> for about eight, eight years. <clears throat> There's no suits, though. Poe, you said everyone had a suit on. Well, some people had suits. Okay, that, that, I, is that I guy in the green that. hat wearing a suit? That guy, I can't see from here. No, that guy's from uh, 52 blocks. Oh. That guy looks guilty of something. The guy on the right-hand side with the white cap? Nothing. The skeleton, that's one of my students, one of my top guys. No, he didn't have a suit, but uh, that, he was there well, to support me. That's putting it mildly, me. Paul. He's wearing a shirt with a skeleton paint on it. That's What's a that? long fucking way from here to have a suit. <laughs> <laughs> like a a vest. I, I offered a vest, him... <laughs> a vest and a tie is not a suit. <laughs> I offered him one of my suits, but it, it wouldn't fit him. He's dressed like one of the bad guys in fucking Karate Kid. <laughs> like he's about to beat up Daniels on that club dance. <laughs> well, now we, got, <laughs> now we got Big Kev on the line. Big Kev. Hey, what's up? I just, uh, I, I found it a little distracting at, uh, that post show started at 11 o'clock and at about quarter to 10 people started coming in. And, uh, you know, my, my, my guests were a little confused and a little off put by it as well. So I, I just wanted to chime that in a little bit. I, I mean, there was, there was like flashing and, and pictures being taken and, and all that stuff. And I mean, that's all well and good. I understand all that, but it just seemed to, it just seemed a bit distracting to be having, uh, happening so early. I don't remember anyone taking pictures, number one. Uh, well, again, well, my no, no disrespect to you, Kevin, and I apologize if I did interrupt well, your show. a lot of disrespect, actually. Yeah, yeah it's I mean, like no, much, much disrespect. I, had, I got a call like I see it. I had, if, the, if the guy before he's trying to do a show and there's 30, 40 people <laughs> taking pictures, in, that's kind of a disrespect. <laughs> Once again, it was one hour, and I had to make sure that everyone did their paperwork before my show. All right. I think Paul... Paul was excited to do his radio exactly. show. Exactly. I think that's more excitement. Than, a, a disrespect is an intent. And I think being excited and, you know, maybe not uh, handling things right is not necessarily Did you at least tell Big Kev, look, I, I apologize ahead of time, but a lot of my people are coming in to see me do my first radio show. I hope it's not a distraction to you. Is there anything I can do for you? Did you make him kind of comfortable with the situation? No. Um, no. Unfortunately, he was on the show, and I, I didn't get a chance to speak with him. Yeah. I was waiting for um, the guys to come in so I can take care of their paperwork. Kind of difficult to take care of paperwork, take care of IDs, and prepare for the show, and also try to get in contact with your guests that are, that are running late. Poe, was there, was, there, um, was there a mix-up with the time? Uh, uh, p a m and p m oh yeah that was a good one <laughs> all right for <laughs> explain what happened there i got a call in the morning and uh light burley from the uh, 52 blocks organization he called me up he says master poe where are you i says uh what do you mean where am i i'm i'm home i'm eating breakfast and he says well how come you, wh what do you mean you're late i said no i'm not late wh wh where are you he says i'm here i'm waiting for you I said, Light, it's 11 o'clock in the morning. And he says, oh, you're not supposed to be here? I said, no, you're early. You're 12 hours early. So he kind of... Uh, something, tells me, <laughs> something, something tells me that was the first time Light Burley was ever early for anything. <laughs> <laughs> so is there a little tension between Danny and Master Pro? <clears throat> well, I was just kind of surprised <laughs> to see that many people show up, considering that I was never made aware yeah, I, By I Master like Paul. to communicate with uh, Danny and tell him everybody that's coming and where they're going to be sitting. And I, I don't really like to leave Danny in the dark. And I know that Danny has a lot to do when he's there. He has to, you know, make sure everything's running straight. He has to make sure all the correct information is up on the data pad. 
And, yeah. Uh, well, know, I thought my pad data was quite important. accurate for your show. Hey, yeah. I said I think my pad data was quite accurate for your show. <laughs> oh, you thanks. Just, you I, know, I was it a bunch of Z's? Laszlo show or Patrice it, or no? Wait, I wait. thought I thought Big Kev's homoerotic fun time really <laughs> set the tone for the evening. <laughs> bad data. And I knew that you would probably get upset, so I did change it eventually to Big Kev's gay treehouse. <laughs> I want to thank you for that, Dan. You're very welcome. Now, Nestor Paul wrote a rather scathing letter. It certainly was scathing. I would say a rather. Yeah, Paul, what happened yeah, on Saturday is... that you had to write one of our bosses? Could, would you care? I, should Paul read what he wrote? Because honestly, sure. you have an extra copy of it from, yeah, from, sure. from M MP, as I call oh, me. Uh, MP. <laughs> now, you wrote this one, Paul. Uh, this morning when he's... Uh, wait, before no. he reads this letter, what was your beef with Danny? Danny's like the program director of 202 on weekends. Yes. He's like the guy in charge. So what was the problem you had with Danny before we get into this uh, email? Five minutes before the show, he... Um, said extremely uh, with a loud tone. No, that's not true. But go ahead. Okay. Well, you know something? I won't defend myself. I will have the callers call in and tell exactly what happened. Poe, I mean, that's in fine. In regards to that. Okay. Okay? What? In regards what? to that. So what? if you what want me to read hold this. On, let, hold on. Let me ask the, What did Danny say? He said, at what point did you think 50 people were permitted in this studio? That's not what I said, but okay, once again, go ahead. What did he say? Dad? Well, let's see, what did you say? My words good? exactly was, Poe, I find this number of, of people up here to be highly inappropriate. It was 30 people, and I never used the word 50, but that's fine. And, not, not, and I didn't use a tone with you that was anything but what I just said. Where did you say it? Well... Oh, I was trying to get Poe's attention through the mountain of people that were outside because you couldn't you couldn't even walk around. It was just a tsunami of bodies. And I said, Poe, because I was looking for him, and he said, yeah. And I said, when did you feel that bringing this amount of people up to the studio was going to be appropriate? And that's when I was escorted outside of uh, this station in the hallway where I was verbally berated. For saying such things now, Poe. And, and now, now, Poe. Maybe, uh, maybe I'm remembering different facts about that evening. But did you not scream at the top of your lungs at me? So mm. whose tone, whose tone was being loud that night? Well, like I said, I'm not going to defend myself. What I'm going to do is I'm going to so, have the so callers. So instead, you're going to lie. No, I said I'm going to have the callers call in. All right, let's in. have callers. You let's know have all these callers well, call caller in, right here. and they'll no, all lie. Well, hold on, hold on. Big Kev's on the line. Big Kev. I, had, I, I, I definitely for sure had one of my guests who heard Master Poe, clear as crystal, yelling like... Uh, Big Kev, yell, yelling? Poe, yelling very loud. Yelling or screaming? Well, I, you know, I, 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 was, I was told yelling, but I would think yelling is tantamount to screaming when it comes to men. Well, what, well Danny, screaming? what did he... Hold on, but what did he scream at you? He screamed. And when I say screaming, I mean screaming like the way that you'd scream at a kid for breaking, like, your television. He said, why are you trying to embarrass me in front of my friends? Why are you trying to embarrass me in front of my friends? Just like that. But he took you outside and did it? Well... He took me outside, but he did give me the common courtesy of screaming into the doorway so that all of his guests, so that he could make it clear that he's the alpha male here. He's the one that's in charge. So he had to make sure not to scream at me, because you weren't even making eye contact with me, as you're not right now. I'm just looking at the callers. I don't need to look at you, because I know the truth. I could look at you all day. Okay, well, how about we have... Uh we could have Donnie call up because I think she was here. And, What's uh, Donnie here in? Donnie was here. Patrick was I here. Don't know. Donnie. Okay, I wait, guess wait, hold on. So. I think Big A was here. I'm sure he could give a call in. And, okay, and one second. We can have these people call in, but let's not say specific people because Donnie didn't hear anything. Okay, well let's call. Let's okay. have Big A. Let's call have in everyone who was there. And that maybe night tax. Maybe tax wants to give a please. call in. Big Kev, I got to free up a hotline. So take care, Kev. But if you have anything, Billy hold Hazen. on. If you have anything to add, though, just call back. Can okay, this is from uh, Patrick. Who is um, Donnie's? Uh, yeah. Yes, a gentleman friend. Yes. Gentleman friend. Let me just boyfriend. Uh, pop it up here. Calling. Says for the record, I took no photos at XM until post show was over. We were all surprised by the number of guests that uh, were there. So I guess they were uh, surprised at the amount of people. Uh, that wasn't a you know. I was hoping it was going to continue. Factual little thing. Would Poe have yelled? I have to ask Poe this. Now, what I saw is Danny probably came in and said something in front of people that embarrassed you. 
Um, I probably would have been embarrassed too. Did you yell at him in response to that, or was there other stuff that you wanted Danny to do that he wasn't doing, or was it just in response to feeling embarrassed? Uh, basically, what he said in front of the guests. But again, I'm not going to defend myself in regards well, to that. What did you say? Because to, hold every on, what did you say to Danny? Danny, this yeah, is. Yeah, what did you say, Danny? I, I was trying to alleviate the situation. By screaming I wanted and him to come outside and talk about it. It was five minutes before my show, and I've never done. A radio show before, and okay. my show probably stunk. Okay, but that's all. That's all fine and then. Uh, not problem. I tried. I tried <laughs> to do my best, and I tried to give you guys, you no know, honor no. as much as I could. No one's trying to say that you didn't do that's your best ballsy. for the radio show. <laughs> okay, all right. And you know something, Danny? All we're talking I, about is the ten minutes before your show went on the air. No one's talking Actually, about the show or the was, content of the show. It was five minutes before the show, and I think that it was inappropriate for you to speak to me that way. I feel that it was inappropriate for you to not tell me that you had a thirty-five people uh, guest list come upstairs. Guess what? Steve Carlisi, who's the executive producer of the, of the show. Of the Anthony show, yes. Of the who's executive right now, cowering he in his was, panty somewhere. He was well oh, aware of this. Can okay. Well, can, considering can, can Paul, here comes to Steve. Hello. I don't, want to, I don't mean to interrupt you. Can, 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 can Poe read some of this? <clears throat> because it's, it's in Poe's voice. This is the sure. email he no, wrote. I know. We're, di we're getting to that point, Jimmy. There's still what? Well, get on mic, Steve. We're getting there, Jeremy. Trust okay. me, this Dan, is good. Yeah, <laughs> I, I hate this is this is I hate to be the one to have to say this, but at two forty five PM on the seventeenth, I sent you an email stating exactly how many people Poe was gonna bring. That's not the here. point, Steve. Oh. The point is is that Oh boy, now now Steve. See, you're oh. just a dick, Steve, because the point is no, oh, not a dick. you are a dick. First of all, because I'm not, Okay, go ahead. Because go ahead. the point is is not that Poe emailed you. The point is that he didn't email me. That's the point. I'm the one that's going to get in trouble when shit goes down here, Steve, not you. Okay, so when, so when we have guests up here, and let's say, hypothetically speaking, if something was to be broken or if a piece of equipment was, was not put back a correct way, I'm the one that's going to have my ass chewed out for it and not you. Hence, I'm pissed off that I did not receive an email directly from Poe, considering that I, I'm the guy that, that has to run Saturday nights and is going to get chewed out. Whose phone is it? Phone's ringing? Phone's of course, phone. of course oh, it is. A lot of phones. <laughs> so I'm the one that's going to get in trouble, Steve. So are you running in here with an email? Oh, I told you. That's not the point. It is, look, it is the point. I had, we made everybody aware globally that this thing was going to have, that he was going to bring in that many people. If anybody had a problem with because a problem I Because I told you, I Steve. That. So why are you mad at he's, me now? Because you run in here with an email saying, I told you. Well, you just got done five minutes Meanwhile, ago saying you had no idea. He's, he's, he's telling you the information that I gave him. He says, I have an e I, 245, I, I, I emailed you. Yeah, then because I, to because I told you. Tell people that you had no Because idea. I heard a rumor, because people at the, at the bar the night before are saying, you know there's going to be like 30 people up there? I and I'm like, are you serious? I heard you arrived in a limo too, is this true? Yes, sir. <laughs> oh <my> Jesus. <laughs> We've lost him. The guy, the Wait, guy. So, hold on. I'm sorry. Did Steve... <laughs> Paul probably emailed Steve. I'm only guessing because I personally would think to email Steve too, just not knowing the protocol. This is how it went down. I, I heard rumors of, of the, the, the massive amount of people that were coming up here, and I asked Steve. I said, Steve, do you know anything about this? He says, he asked me, and I could show you the email. He goes, I said, you know, there's about 30 people coming upstairs on Saturday, and Steve says, is the number really that high? And I said, that's what I'm hearing. And that's when, St when Steve then got in touch with Poe to find out about his guest list. So... Your point is just destroyed, basically. It's not destroyed. Because <laughs> no, you're sitting there going, Damn, I told shut you. Shut up for two minutes. Listen to me. <laughs> Why the fuck would you get on a microphone and say that you had no idea that the fucking guy was bringing 30 people up and then when you fully knew? Ooh. Steve, I don't know why and you're fighting me about this. And I was on the phone this. with Wicklin explaining that this was going to happen. He said, yeah, have him do paperwork on all of them. Because right. the point is, is that he never, he wasn't ever going to tell you, Steve. I had to tell all you right, for you fine. to find out about it. But stop playing, like, stop playing ignorant. And you don't have to get in front of me, bro. That's insulting. Oh, right. yeah, you don't have to get in front of him, Paul. This is not insulting. All right, sit, sit down. Yeah, yeah Paul. <laughs> yeah, Paul. Oh, oh, she, she's not going to hit him. These, these, I was wondering why Paul was going over there. These people are insane. Hey, where are you going? You know, Steve, it's not insulting. Hold on for a second. Hold on for a second. It's not insulting, okay? It's not insulting because you are 265, 75 pounds, and it's my job to make sure no one gets hurt. And honestly, with that kind of attitude, I get up. I get up. I don't care how big and bad you are, I get up. No disrespect to you, bro. But he was actually defending your point. No disrespect to you. I was actually defending your point. I know. But in defending <laughs> oh me, God. I still have to do my job, man. <laughs>
All right. So, Jeez. Steve, who I thought you were a little under 265. Let's get back to the fucking are exercise regimen. Are you insulted that he said you're 265? Slightly. Yeah. yeah. Like 245. All right. So I'm sorry. Go to the fucking gym again. So, Steve uh, was hollering at Danny here, and Danny was hollering at Steve. And, and Paul had to get in between them. Yeah, let's get back to the hollering. Which and, is and, no, and fucking and, and And fucking and, and ethnic boy is just standing there with a camera <laughs> watching it all. I'm telling you, you're fucking Nero. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Steve. I didn't mean to disrespect you, man. I really did. It's okay, Paul. But you did. <laughs> we called him fat. It's called. <laughs> oh, fat. Well, I'm, I'm thinking because of the muscles you have. Not had, had nothing to do with the weight. Sorry. All right, so where are we at? So anyway. All right, so Danny, I apologize for yelling, Danny. I'm just, and I apologize for yelling. Danny, did you almost walk out on Saturday night? No, I didn't because uh, you know I could have easily just said, well, you know what, Paul, uh, if you're gonna you know treat me that way, I guess I could just you know run some more stuff or something. But no, I let you continue with your show, and, and you you had your full hour. Mm. Let's say hi to Patrick, Dawn's boyfriend. Patrick. Hello. Hey. Also known as Fat Opie. How are you, sir? I am okay. How are you? Good. Good. You were you were there? Yeah, Dawn and I were there. And um, not much uh, to do, uh, huh? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, uh, when we left the house, we were under the impression that there would probably be maybe four or five of us, including us they're watching the show so we were a little bit surprised when we saw how many people but it, it, for all the people that were there people were uh pretty well behaved and uh there were some in suits there were some in what i would call ghetto thug wear but uh everyone seemed relatively also known as the guilty and, and they were and that's not the argument no one's ever saying that they were rowdy or misbehaved they behaved themselves just beautifully all right, yeah, did you hear and, any yelling? And, and, and Danny, I, I was as shocked as you were when I saw the sheer volume of people because it's like, it's a radio show. <laughs> but, you know, it was what it was, you know. Was, um, it a, was it a good radio show? I really didn't think it was too bad. I, 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 it, it didn't bore me. It didn't lose me. I'm not into martial arts, so it's not something that I would be, you know, prone to listen to, but I didn't think it was a bad show. I thought Poe kind of handled it well. I thought his uh, his stories were kind of interesting to listen to. I thought his his guests were also sort of interesting because sometimes there was a little bit of a difference of opinion, like uh, about patience at one point. There was a difference of opinion between Poe and uh, his, uh, his key guests there, but... Um, it, it was uh, it, it it wasn't bad. It, it it didn't lose me. All right, thank. I I, I, hmm. I did think that any were someone was putting in those uses as drops. I didn't realize Poe was actually saying them. <laughs> no, those are frequently. all but authentic uses. <laughs> yeah, terrific it, for everybody. Yeah, and, and, you know, it really didn't occur to me until afterwards when Poe asked me into the studio to take some pictures of him with his guests. Um, every... Every like five seconds, oof, oof. It, it, and I, I gotta say, Bo, it, you were cracking me up with that, but uh, th that's okay. All right, thank you, Patrick. Thanks, man. All right, man. All right, we got Iraq, e who is not happy for some What's reason. the matter, Iraq? E What's up, Iraq? E Is the two sixty five really yours? <laughs> no, Jimmy. Um, Iraq e knows how to tell like it is. Believe it or not, there's a couple of points here that I have a problem with. One, um, I didn't hear the screaming between Danny and Poe. I know. Poe had taken Danny out. I was running the board here, so I couldn't leave. Um, if, if Danny is saying it, it was that Poe was screaming at him, there are cameras right where they were, so you can go back and see what exactly was going oh, on. And number two, the other problem I had with this is that weren't we all told nothing is supposed to happen outside of that door because the building is ready to shit on us at any moment, and then somebody gets drawn out there to have an argument? If one of the superintendents or the or the, the maintenance people were in there and said, "Hey, there was a thing on the fifth floor right outside XM," that's all they need. Doesn't matter what it was, but we were specifically told the end of last week nothing is to go on outside of that door anymore. And what just happened on Saturday? Well, you know something. Five minutes before a show that I've never done before in my entire life, mm -hmm. and possibly never will do again. And who let you do? Also, uh, not possible. One second. <laughs> well, I think one second. I think I'm not should. arguing that. Okay. No. Um, it. If if something happened, for me to like direct Steve. this argument Andrew to uh, a, a room, it's kind of difficult. I mean, I tried to what? do whatever I could 
to handle the situation based on the minimal amount of time available. (laughs) But mind you, there was not one incident that evening. Now, I had the most people ever in any time that you had these guests here, and whenever you guys had a show here, and there was maybe like five or six or ten people, whatever the case may be, there was more problems on those (laughs) evenings than my evening. Okay, but that's not the point of what I brought up. The point was, (laughs) we were specifically told... (laughs) (laughs) You brought the most people, you win. Well, no, actually, (laughs) I didn't didn't know... I didn't know that I was going to have 30 Yay, people. Yay, friends. Yay. <laughs> Just 30. Did so you really come on limo? Uh, <laughs> yes. My buddy, as I told you, Ty Rodriguez, um, he picked me up in, in a limo. And uh, he said that this is your night. He took all the guests this out. There was, night, there was about thirty. There was about thirty guests. Night. Hold on, he's just doing a little bit of fucking twins. <laughs> Tonight's your night, bro. Tonight is your You're night. You're making me nervous. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so your friend picked you up from your place, in a, right, in a limousine, and he took all thirty guests out to dinner. Did he? Oh, okay. Yes, he did. With what kind of what does this guy do? Was he a fucking heroin Stocks. smuggler? Oh, okay. <laughs> Stocks. Wait, the karate guy, Ty? So why don't he take that money no, and help you reopen your school, man? You he's not a karate guy. He's uh, just a street fighter. Wait, dude, but you need money to reopen your school, so fuck taking everyone out to dinner. That that's your school right there. Right, I understand that, but that first to be a couple of G's. Two thousand. Yeah, there you go. One thousand nine hundred and eighty-five dollars. Uh, Where did he take you guys to fucking Morton's? I would have thrown a burger down everybody's face. <laughs> oh, hi, who's this? Hello. Yeah, hello. Somebody on the line. He was there. Hello. Speak. You. You. Speak. It's not a name. Good. Good. Bye. Good day, sir. Uh, all right. So, Poe, you wrote an email. Yeah. This is where I get bummed out. Isn't there honor in the martial arts? Us. Yes, there is. <laughs> so why would you rat one of our guys out to the boss? Can you handle? Can you guys handle this uh, between yourselves? I know, I know. This has been going on for a very long time. Yeah, I this think it's been going just... on since uh, the time he tried to get me fired, actually. <laughs> About two, two years ago. Why did you I try to get Danny that. fired? I don't oh, remember I didn't, that. I was, I was busy editing you know, some audio for the show, and I, I couldn't take two seconds out, out of my day to, to fucking no. fist pound him. And he t- thought that was disrespectful, so he wrote, he wrote another six-page email trying to... Yeah, why did you write... Whoa, 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 that's untrue. What are you talking about? That's untrue. What are you talking about? Oh, I, I remember uh, being told that I had to apologize to you because I was being short with you. <laughs> I don't know anything about that. <laughs> you know something? You want to uh, get this on the it. table? I Marcelino, remember it get quite inside well. here, please. I remember oh, it quite yeah. well. Let's get inside oh, here. Yeah, we got Travis Let's now. get inside oh, here, Marcelino. Marcelino doesn't get, get, why does he need to be involved in any well, of this? Well, he it's has... between me and you, Paul. Marcelino okay. has nothing to do with it. Well, then if it's between you and I, Travis is going to come well, in here on your defense. Yeah, yeah, I never, I never called him as a witness. It's absolutely true because you did the same thing to me. Because Thank I you. didn't have five Thank seconds you. to print out some of your paperwork because right. I was doing audio editing. You wrote a letter to HR saying that I was yeah. disrespectful and and, puffy and, stuff. and I was, you know, Oof. not respecting security Oof. measures Oof. and that there was an urgent security <laughs> issue going on. Okay, well, your paperwork I- is your problem. I can't be bothered when I have prep to do for the show. Was that when you were an intern? Yeah, that's when I was an intern. Okay, well, I don't remember that. Well, well, you, you conveniently don't remember any wait, of these incidents. Well, wait a second. How, wait a how second. convenient is that? Okay, so what you're saying is that you're bringing out all the incidents on me, but everything that you guys have done is okay? Po, the point is that... The point is what? It, no, listen, the point the, is what? You guys team up on everyone here, and every time something happens, you rip them apart because you guys stick together like pussies. Po, the point, is that it? Po, like po, pussies? Po, you talk. Go ahead. Go ahead. See, this, this is exactly the yelling. To do. See, this po. is the yelling that, that happened. Yeah. The point is, that was it. is that you run around and write everybody up. Do you realize how many times we could go to HR on you, but we don't? Yeah, sleepyhead. Go ahead, no. say it. <laughs> sleepyhead. Whoa, what's sleep- say it? What's sleepyhead? Wow. Say it. Go what? to HR. Well, do what I you don't, have to do. Because I don't go to HR, because I don't do that. But I didn't go to HR. The email went in-house. You're the one who brought it on radio. In-house. 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 That's terrific, Paul. You know what? I've never. The only time I've ever written an email about you was Saturday. Because it annoyed me to the point that I actually had to. And everything you did that day annoyed me as well. Well, by you giving leave, you a radio show and you disrespecting you by left, bringing 30 people up here without left, emailing said, me first? All when you had you to do was email said, me and say, hey. When you left, fuck him in front of Billy Hayes. Billy Hayes was right there. You walked out. I don't know out. who the fuck Billy Hayes is. Who are you talking about? Everyone knows who names. Billy Hayes is. Billy Hayes is legendary. With I don't know Billy Hayes. That's right. And Billy called the show. That's right. Because he was there. La Machine called the show. You know why I left, Paul? Because your shift was over. 
It was 12 o'clock and you still thought you were doing a show. Wait, what did Mars have to do with this? Why, why did you want to bring in Mars? Because Poe has yeah. very few character uh, witnesses. All right, let's bring Mars in. We got E-Rock, E-Rock, yes. Poe, po, just one quick... Poe, over here. Go ahead, bro. Just one quick thing. When you're saying about your emails being in-house or whatever, <laughs> you realize you're sending them on a corporate email to everybody else on corporate emails. It's, you don't think they document this stuff down in D.C.? Well, anything that happens, I have to give it to Bruce. I understand that. Bruce but is you're my saying boss. It, it, well, I'm not you're a, saying that you didn't uh, send it out to everybody. You're saying it was an in-house email email on a corporate email system it's already there it's going to be there for god knows how long they could pull it up at any time so That's... it wasn't a private email nope. in-house meaning <clears throat> this facility here in new york they have it you just don't realize what you're doing well yes i do i sent it to only individuals if it's on the server and someone happens to to go look for it i, I can't help that but if it goes to your direct boss or to hit your boss's boss Mm -hmm. You don't think it's going to be passed around to everybody else saying, wow, this could be an issue. We should send it to HR. Right. We should send it to somebody else. Everyone has copies of yeah. this. All right, we got Mars in Mars, studio. Mars, uh, Marcelino had something? Oh, wait, I got to turn Marcelino. on another mic now. Holy shit. I know, it's a fucking busy I day. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing here. <laughs> <laughs> Please that. isolate that. Uh, we this need that clip <laughs> for every problem we have with electrical equipment. <laughs> Can I set the arena? Uh, Can I set it? Ahead. I, I don't know. I don't know. What okay. Arena. okay. What's happening is D Danny and I obviously have a problem. Okay. I don't have a problem. Travis, excuse me. Right, Travis ran in here in his defense and he started complaining for additional stuff well, that happened Travis. two years ago, which I haven't, don't remember any of that stuff. You want me to fight Travis? I, w pardon me? You want me to fight Travis? No, I don't want you to fight Travis. Okay. Okay. Is there anything that you could add in regards to the attitudes and, and the discrepancies that goes on within this uh, studio? That's pretty broad. <laughs> that's, it is, that's isn't it? very broad. Can, can you help me out with... Let's start with Danny, being that he's in the, in the seat. Oh, Danny's hot-tempered. Yeah. In what sense? Uh, you get angry. Give what? me an example. I'm sorry, Opie, is it okay? Yeah, Give I'm me an example. This. I've seen him blow his top. Would you say he's blown his top once, twice? A few times. Three times a lady. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Within the last three years, what? Three times? I mean, that's sometimes we get a little aggravated. Right. I'll say about that. You did, you, and you did that. You did three times in the last ten minutes, Paul. So what's your point? <laughs> you just blew your top three times in ten minutes. I don't see where you're going with this at all. Okay. Is there anything else that you want to discuss about Danny? In, yeah. Why don't regards, you wrap me out, Mars? <laughs> in regards to his attitude towards people, <clears throat> is there anything that you want to add? Uh, no. I mean, not really. I mean, because this is not. It's not. It's Povember. You know, it's all on you. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's oh, a yeah. defense. I forgot about that. Thank you. <laughs> I, I don't. No, I don't. Ha I have nothing. So he has his shields on, huh? Uh, you know, there's been incidents. There was one. one we, we've had some. We've had, yeah, you know, our things. But it's, it's nothing. It's nothing. But you know, I mean, that's what happens in any you know friendship. Yeah. You know, people go through their rough spots, and I, I find Mars to be a, a good friend of mine. We we talk every day, and we have fun. So the big issue is Poe brought a lot of people in. You didn't like that, Danny. Or really? Well, you know, I just felt a little disrespect. I mean, since we're talking about honor and respect, I thought that maybe I could have an email <laughs> right. saying, hey, is it cool if I bring 30 people upstairs? And I would have said, well, no, I don't know. Let me check. And then that would have been the end of the story. And, and then, I felt that my comments to you, Poe, were quite justified being that, you know, I felt that was an inappropriate amount of people to bring upstairs. And I did not raise my voice when I asked you that. And you, I, and you did. And there's tons of proof. And... I don't. I just felt that that was just a very disrespectful and inappropriate way to talk to me. Did Danny? Did the other people hear you say that to Poe? A few, a couple might have. It's not like I was screaming it as Poe suggests that I was. I was right outside in this uh, section here, and everyone was here. And yes, everyone did hear uh, what ha happened. My students heard. Oh my God! They really? Did they? XM. Yeah, they did. Oh shoot! Well, you know something? Forget about my students because honestly, they don't listen to XM. They don't have the radio. Some of them do. Some of them don't. But you know something? Billy Hayes who's very well respected from this show. Fuck Billy we'll Hayes. Call yeah. We'll call Fuck him and he'll queer. say exactly what happened that night. Okay. You can get him on the phone, let him talk. All right, and I'll just pull security footage of you screaming at me. What's the point? <laughs> oh I, don't, I, don't, I have a fucking video camera that'll just spill it out right there. I think Poe forgot about the security Poe po doesn't uh, seem to realize that I'm sitting here calm and collected, and, and Poe is just not being nothing but defensive. I have nothing to worry about I'm because not being I know Poe, shush. 
You, because sorry, I said shush. Sorry, I said shush. Common, I said that's shush. not common. That's because not you're interrupting me, Paul. Well, you were interrupting me before too. Come you on, you got Dan. us, and he's got shush. Yes, well, shush. I Can like you that. have shush? Shush. If you have <laughs> Absolutely. Shush. <laughs> shush. What is sleepyhead all about? Well, if we want to go there, we can go there. I guess. <laughs> Paul? Well, he said some things about you. Are you implying that, you implying that Poe is sleepy on the job or, or, or slugs around? I, I, I always see Poe as, as well, well I mean, you know, when I get her. It, get Mike on the show. Ah, uh, here comes Erock. Erock's not who? shy. This is where Erock shines. Go ahead, E. I, and, and please also, for the record, note that I'm not calling anyone over for defense. I'm perfectly capable of handling this by myself. No, right. that's good. Go ahead. Look. I'm probably the only one here who kind of likes Poe. And I, and I, and I, and I, <laughs> I get along with Thank you, Eric. I love the kind of right. part. I know. I believe me. <laughs> He's the only one that kind of likes you. <laughs> you guys are a trip in a boat together. You have to like each other. You better stick together. That's all you have. This is so, Paul Vember. Go, go ahead, Iraq. I love so, Paul Vember. There, there has been uh, times over the past few years that have been documented where... Um, Poe has either been sleeping or watching martial arts DVDs <laughs> or sleeping while watching martial arts DVDs <laughs> and looking for chess pieces and I think making oh, interns geez. vacuum and some other little things like that. So um, this has happened on more than one occasion to the point where if we still have it, there could be a nice reel of footage of this stuff. <laughs> for real. But we've never complained about any of that stuff before. Okay. They don't write emails, Paul. Mm. Uh, Big A. Let's get him on the line. We just take What's videos. That? <laughs> what is that? What? Perry Mason. Perry Mason. Oh, all right. Yeah. I'm trying to get to the bottom of this, okay. Jimmy. You need Perry I Mason. I thought I heard music. something. Uh, Big A, what's up? <laughs> I was there. Hey, Paul. Uh, uh, Big A. Um, 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 that's Danny. <laughs> So, in your in your opinion, who do you think started everything on Saturday? And please say, I think. <laughs> Wait, how we worked? Uh... <laughs> I sh uh, oh, he has never problem with STRs. So. All right, go ahead there. Anytime. I think it was just an awkward position, you know. Um... Honestly, I think it was just uh, very awkward because you were trying to do your job, and Mr. Poe was trying, you know, to do what he had to do. What did he have to do, Big A? Um, he had to collect the, uh, all. He was cleaning up his own mess because he brought way too many people here. Are you allowing him to talk? Well, I was just clarifying his statement. Big A. Uh, um, you realize that you wouldn't be running around having to fill out paperwork for 30 people if you didn't invite 30 people. It was accepted by Steve Carlisi. I'm just saying, Paul. That's just a fact. Well, That's, uh, again, I never said it wasn't. It was Steve accepted Carlisi by Steve again? Carlisi. He's the executive producer of the Opie and Anthony show. You shut up. <laughs> shut up. Let me talk. That's Steve uh, Carlisi. According to page two of this email. Please right. get me that sound. Eric, Eric Nagel is also the executive producer. All right. All right yeah. Big uh, A, <laughs> anything else you can add? Because we want to get to the email, finally. I mean, anything else? How about anything? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, 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 actually, I think that's the pose of the show is good. <sighs> Thanks <And> for adding. <laughs> <laughs> Whose fault was the argument? Did he hear the argument, <laughs> Big A? Um, uh, no. I really, no, I didn't, because I, uh, I thought it was the other... So there's no reason for so you. So why'd you call? <laughs> Yana, I'd like to ask this witness to step down off the stand. They called me. Yeah. <laughs> who, uh, all right. who called you? Um, uh, 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 was it Travis or why? All right. all right, listen. If you remember anything, call us back. We got to move on okay. here. All right, we got. This. So then, it, it, this has gotten to the point where Master Poe felt like he needed to write a email to his boss. Poe, would you? Poe should read some of it. Is is it in his voice? I'm not a. I'm not a big fan of the emails to bosses like this, Poe. I think we could work this shit out among ourselves. Who's reading this? Po, I think Poe should. That's my opinion, just because. All right, Poe, go ahead. I don't want to get yelled at for it. You want to read it from the very beginning? <laughs> yeah, in Poe's words. Let's go. To Bruce and to pretty much me, Steve, Eric, Anthony. And me. And Mars, for some reason. Mars and Jimmy. 
On November 17, 2007, I arrived at XM Studios at approximately 10 p.m., knowing that my show, The Arena, was set to air at 11 p.m. You sure you want me to read this? Yes. Yeah, why not? Yeah, well, what's the big deal? I would say yes. You'd, if you don't want to, we'll read it. No, it's fine. Okay. My guest consisted of fans, students, friends, and guests of theirs. Although the show was scheduled at 11 p.m., I had but one hour to get everyone seated and to prepare the necessary paperwork the guests needed to fill out. Can I, can I correct you there that putting the butt is unnecessary. I had but one hour. It sounds almost Shakespearean. It's not, it's not necessary. Go ahead. Thank Which, you, why would you come Jimmy. in like at nine o'clock to get all this shit done, by the way? Um, limo hadn't arrived yet. We've been doing this for years. We come in an hour early just to try to prepare for the show. You do? Yeah, Jimmy. I'm looking at 10 of <laughs> We do, actually. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Is that why you guys are always in the office when I get there? <laughs> I always expect to see you on the elevator on the way out. <laughs> <laughs> Such a motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> All right, continue, Paul. Oh. <laughs> I had okay. I'm not going to say that part. Again. <laughs> but <laughs> right. in addition to this process, I had to collect all IDs and make sure there was not one threat within the room. This was accomplished without incident. Okay, it's good that the IDs told you that, as opposed to that they were people you invited. <laughs> right. <laughs> 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 not dealing with a smart one, but go ahead, Paul. Continue. I love Paul Vember. However, once my guests, consisting of hardcore ONA and Ron and Fez fans, characters of these shows, my advanced students and... <laughs> Something else I said wrong? No, I just find it funny. Okay, good. My advanced students and friends were seated. An outburst was brought out in front of all my guests, all these guests. One Danny Ross came out and embarrassed me by saying in a very loud tone... <laughs> Imagine if there was two of me, how loud it would have been. Yeah. Well, that was a bit of a Rod Serling type of thing. One <laughs> Danny Den Ross. Danny Ross. Go ahead. Now, when did you think 50 people was permitted in the studio? That's not. Then you, you put me in quotes here, and I've noticed that I've been misquoted. Okay. I'll so continue. And was it a loud tone? Yes. Danny? No. It was in a tone that consisted of, I, I'll just really, I could just read. All right, close your eyes and read. All right, let me get. Let me get Go back there. to Saturday. Poe. Oh. Yeah. Um, why did you think it was appropriate to bring this many people up into the studio? Yeah, it was a little louder than that. Perhaps a bit louder than that. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it wasn't. It was, it was really just Within about that Within that range, mm -hmm. okay. Well, just to let you know, when the guests did leave, <clears throat> they did uh, feel very bad that it happened, and, and they were upset. Um, that why don't you reenact um, the way that you yelled at me? Let him have you want to do that? No, again, you sure. I don't need to you reenact sure? anything. Okay. I'd love to hear a reenactment. No oh. kidding. Mm. I want to see a reenactment of Steve <laughs> yelling at Danny. God, that was the best. <laughs> he'll, he'll try to do that and post, and he'll fuck it up. He'll just do it wrong. Why don't you shut, shut up? Shut up! <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's shut go. up! <laughs> shut up! <laughs> Wait. He's like the Grim Reaper in fucking Monty Python's The Meaning of Life. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> right, go ahead, Paul. I love that Steve outburst, <laughs> man. Yeah, it's that's... the best. Oh, what, you got it? Oh, yeah. Well, we are... Oh, could I hear it, please? <laughs> Shut you. up for two minutes! <laughs> <laughs> I want that! Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Steve. No one took him seriously. We all started laughing at him. <laughs> <laughs> laugh. All right, go ahead. The total number of guests were approximately 30. Let's go. This is a very long email. Yes, so I understand. It's a gem. <laughs> I, I attempted to take him outside, away from my guests to resolve this matter, right? Mm hmm. He was, he, meaning Danny, was very unprofessional, and there was no reason why he could not have pulled me to the side and confront me with this alleged problem. I could not Campo. have. Instead, he chose to do this outside of the main studio. Just five minutes before I was scheduled to go on. It should be noted that Steve Carlisi, the executive producer of the Opie and Anthony show, is well aware of the guests that were scheduled to come in that evening. Once outside, I wanted Danny and I to resolve this, knowing my show was in five minutes and my guest talent was running late. I wanted to move forward, and he was adamant in his decision. 
He then tells me that I can't talk to him that way because he is not an intern and fuck Steve Carlisi. <laughs> fuck Steve Carlisi. <laughs> oh, you better get Steve back in here. Wait, who said fuck Steve Carlisi? Danny. Well, he's he's he's, Danny? he's he's taking my words out of context. Okay. The, the, the context of fuck Steve. Oh, hold on. I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't use his full name. Did you mean it literally? <laughs> right, I, didn't, I didn't get like, the whole, fuck Steve yeah, Carlisi. It's in quotes. I didn't get the all the all the the quote in. He he oh, then okay. tells me that I can't talk to him that way because he is not an intern and. Fuck Steve Carlisi because he does not run this end. I do. <laughs> you just say, oh. My response to him was not of a calm nature. <laughs> Long way to say I screamed. Yeah, I screamed at him. But <laughs> this is Poe Steve? now. Poe writes, my response to him was not of a calm nature. Realizing a resolution was not to be reached as he would not move from his adamant behavior, I then went back into XM and into the studio and sat in my chair with that argument on my mind. On my mind. If I was off, and believe you me, I was. Jesus, Poe. It was due to an unwarranted verbal attack <clears throat> and utmost unprofessional display mm. of childish behavior from an individual who should have addressed this issue in a reasonable fashion by pulling me aside prior to an outburst. Why couldn't you pull me aside? Why couldn't you say, Poe, I, I, come in the office for a second? And I would have listened to you are intently. You? I would have listened to you intently, and no matter what you said, I would have listened to it and honored it and respected it. Us. Oh, that's good. I would have. Hey, Steve. Yeah. Danny said, fuck Steve Carlisi. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Said, Shut up for two minutes. <laughs> what? I get to write Danny's review at the end of the year. So. <laughs> All right. God, a lot's Good coming one. out today. I love this. Oh, way to hit him hard, Steve. All right. Well, I did, but Will actually. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go ahead, Danny. All right. So, oh, to, to address you, Poe, I, I wasn't, you know, I wasn't expecting to see such a flurry of people when I left the producer booth. So, now, why did you feel the why did you feel the need to scream at me almost at the top of your lungs in response? Well, I don't remember that. Really? However, if Steve told me that there was not permitted, a lot of things you don't remember. If Steve tells me that, if he told me that it was not permitted, then I wouldn't have brought thirty. I, I would have made some phone calls and say, look, you know, you won't be able to come down to the show. I'm never. I never said. That you weren't allowed to bring people up here. Okay. And I'm not saying that that Steve said that you couldn't bring people up here. Right. And I didn't I know felt, exactly how many people were coming. Po, Seriously, po, I didn't. Oh, I felt, I felt my opinion. I felt that it was an inappropriate amount of people to bring upstairs. Those were my words on Saturday, and those are my words today. I I feel that this is an inappropriate amount of people to bring upstairs. Can I ask a question? Something I'm confused about because yeah, I wasn't I wasn't privy to all this. You knew people were coming up. You knew it was going to be about 30 because Steve told you. No, 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 because I heard through through the rumors okay. that there well, was going to be a lot of people get the email there. from Steve? But then Steve emailed you. So you guys kind of confirmed there was going to be 30. You kind of knew it. I heard on a rumor that there was going to be a lot of people. Is it and then I, a rumor? Excuse me, Poe. So, so you me knew there was going to be a lot of people, okay? So I, I informed Steve. I said, hey, Steve, I think there's going to be a lot of people up here. And then Steve confirmed And then it. Steve then called Poe to confirm. Okay. So Poe, I mean, and just play devil's advocate, Poe did what he thought was the right channel, which was kind of to confirm with somebody that he had a lot of people coming up here. He knew it was going to be more than normal, so he did go to Steve. Um, so as far as Poe knew, he kind of covered his bases. Did you react that way to him? I, I, my, I'm not speaking for you, but I'm thinking he was mad just because you knew people were coming up and then still scolded him in front of his guests. Well, when I, you know, I, was, I was running Big Kev's board uh, in the producer booth, so you, know, you don't really have a, a, a nice vantage point. You might want to put that on vibrate. Um, I didn't have a real good vantage point out of the producer studio, so when you open the door... And you look out and just see a mountain of people. Really cool to show. Who was that? Finished. Billy Who's... Hayes. Oh, that was. So okay. when you when you see just you know a, a flurry of people, you kind of you know you, you, I was looking at the situation, going, "This is a little much," and it kind of annoyed me that I you know that I didn't get a direct email from Poe about it, considering that it, let's say I'm... something, let's say someone, let's say hypothetically speaking, someone. Someone broke a TV or a microphone got busted. Um, Steve's not the guy that's going to hear about it. Knew, it's going to be me. This, I, is about, uh, this is about Danny. I'm starting and Poe. to see this whole thing. This is not about no, Poe bringing people up. No, it's this about, about you're not liking Poe. Yeah, because... you don't like Poe uh, for whatever he for what he did in the past, and this was your opportunity to get him back. No, I just felt that it was. I just felt that it was. A, it was a disrespectful thing to do. And I wasn't told. I mean, I wasn't told directly from Poe that, that there was going to be so you thirty kind of, people. Did up you, there. in a way, if you knew there was going to be thirty people, even though he hadn't told you directly, why not talk to him at another time about it? As opposed to in front of his guests. Well, because there, there is no time. Because I'm, you know, there's no, oh, there's no oh, sorry, please sorry. vibrate. I'm sorry. <laughs> Your phone's still ringing. This is phone. I don't know. I'm thinking, yeah. uh, listening to all this, that um, 
uh, Danny does have a valid point about the, the, being so many people in the studio, regardless if they're well behaved, and, and even if if uh, stupid Steve Carlisi knew about it. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's new phone. I don't know how to use this. Three he, people said to put he it on all of a sudden is the responsible party in there. No matter what anyone else knows, says, does, or anything, if something fucks up, Danny gets ass. the fucking head chopped my off. Ass. So it's really his decision and his call. <laughs> Who's calling you, Paul? <laughs> Every single guest that was here that night is calling. But my, no, I, I agree with you. But my only question is, if he already knew, if Danny knew, like, why not cut it off in the... This is why I think it's about more than that. If, if, I would be completely on Danny's side if Paul had just all of a sudden said there was going to be a couple people and then 30 people showed up and then he's going, what the fuck? What if one of these guys breaks some sh equipment? Yeah. Yeah. Of uh, course. You can't have your head on the line for... Sure. But it's, it's even no a little more than that, too, Jim, because not only was there people, you know, out in the, in the little uh, uh, viewing area, but there was just random people walking in and out of this studio. There were people, I had no idea who anybody was. There was at least two people taking video and or still pictures. You had uh, some, you had a couple of guys in here, Paul, that I gotta tell you, I'd classify them as some, as undesirables. <laughs> well, and, you know, uh, that was the arena. That was the arena, and unfortunately, these guys have gone through their experiences, and yes, they were in prison, but that's exactly what the show was about, to get the badasses of this world on the show. Up into a multi-million dollar studio. To give, you know something? I can tell you this, that they were very respectful. I never said that they were. They were respectful to the establishment. They were respectful to the people out here. They had conversations with all of my guests, including the grandmasters who have been in martial arts for God knows how many years. And they themselves responded by saying, wow, these guys, you know, although they were in prison. Two or three years. And these prison fighters really got something going on. Uh, yeah, they do. As a matter of fact, they do. They're, they're extremely well talented. I, uh, I think the mix of people wasn't safe. I'm now uh, seeing it more Danny's way. You got uh, guys that were in prison and just regular listeners that, you know, have Opie and Anthony shirts on. One of those guys could have been killed. No, I think Paul was the common. I think <laughs> Out of respect for Paul, they were all going to act a certain you way. You think? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. They're, mar they're right. in the martial arts. They're not up here. It's not like he's doing a, a, a rap show and he's just got sure. fucking thugs up. These are guys he knows from the scene. All right, let, that are, are let's get back to the email. Martial then. artists. So where are we? Uh, uh, all right. If I was off and believe you, me, I was. <laughs> it was due to an unwarranted verbal attack, an utmost unprofessional display of childish behavior, behavior from an individual who should have addressed this issue in a reasonably a uh, reasonable fashion by pulling me aside prior to an outburst. At no time were there any problems with my guests, nor did they show any form of disrespect towards XM's property, the show, the staff, or the building. In addition, my lifelong childhood friend who I grew up with took it upon himself to treat all the fans that came to the show by paying for their dinner and picking me up by limousine. My people have respect for who I am and represent. I was appalled that my friend, his wife, son, and their friends had to see this outburst. Which, which outburst are you referring to, mine or the one where you were screaming at me in the hall? Just uh, to clarify that. Um, I'm sure it would be yours. Mine, okay, cool. Mm -hmm. I kept my composure and took in many deep breaths because I knew that the show was about to begin and I needed to forget and redirect that incident to where it would not hinder the first radio show of my life. You forgot one key word, though, the first, comma, last. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> but you know something, Danny? I don't think you can make that decision. Really? That's right. Who was the one to give you the show in the first place? You know something? Probably you did. But, you know, you had to go to someone to get the final answer. That's actually un completely untrue. You didn't ask Opie and no. Anthony? No. I think, uh, wouldn't, uh, wouldn't he have to go to Steve Carlisi, executive producer of the Opie and Anthony oh, show? maybe he would have. Shut Opie. up for two minutes! <laughs> 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 you know, I really love just the parallels of Steve. Like, on one end, you have him making those little babies sound like, blah, 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 and then that. Shut up for two minutes! <laughs> yeah, that is quite the... And uh, they both represent the package... Uh, juxtaposition. That, that becomes an idiot. <laughs> All right, so now... Paul, do you think... Do you think uh, let me just uh, ask you one thing. My yeah, opinion. Okay. And this might be a little personal. Do you think it was wise maybe to have convicted felons around my sister... Oh wow! Um, not, they were because they weren't really you. You were the security guy, but you were doing a show. So who was actually making sure that nothing would that no would shanked. happen? Eight of my students who are quite advanced. 
made sure nothing happened. Just, you know, well, they look a little protective of my sister. sister if something happened out there. Do you, know you know that I told my students, I said, this is what you need to do. You need to mm -hmm. make sure that nothing happens. I don't want to see liquor or, or anything, you know, be like any problems. A, a cookout in East New York or something, you know? You no. never know. Those Wait. things go fine, and then two seconds later, the cops are showing up. Anthony was very respectful. My guys, oh, okay. my guys were, were... How many uh, years in prison? One guy, 20 years. For what? 20 years. For what? Jay Drugs. Walking. Drugs? Drugs. you learn if he's, he's a prison fighter? Yes. He's a bad dude then. Yeah. 52 blocks is the art. It's called 52 blocks. I, yeah, let's I, give him a plug. I, um, <laughs> let's I've seen it when I was 15 years old, and it's quite effective. Very effective. It consists of elbows. Yeah, and it consists headbutts. of elbows because you have to learn how to fight with cuffs on. Yeah, that's right. That's press, that sounds like a pretty respectable and admirable <laughs> what, form you, of fighting. You want to know something? <laughs> what they did when they were getting in trouble and going to jail, that's entirely up to them. However, they're out of jail. They paid their price to society. And now they're out and they're trying to... Now they're teaching other people how to fight with cuffs. No, they're trying to I teach children were there how guns? to fight with cuffs on. Were there guns up here Saturday? No, sir. How do you know these guys? Um, I looked them up in the internet and I did some research. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh, that's a rough one, Paul. <laughs> well, I'm with you. Yeah. Wait, uh, how long have you known these guys that were in jail? That was well, called they were insane? casing the joint. I, I didn't know them. Wow, your whole fuck. I didn't. Oh, I didn't know you them. Just got destroyed. Wait a minute. No, wait a second. How oh, many guys came up on. that were one thing thing. I'll tell you about me, Jimmy, and Aunt, You know. We're we're good listeners and we're 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 good judges here. Wow, you lost the whole panel. Hold on yeah. for one we second. We thought you knew these guys forever. Yeah, I thought no. that too. How many guys oh in jail? I sat park. I sat down with them and I interviewed them for a couple of hours. <laughs> that that makes up for twenty years of the <laughs> But that was oh the uh, that was the gentleman. I went premise. to I went to Craigslist. How many guys did you have up that you did? I looked up just furniture and condoms. Okay, so you had eight. Paul had eight of his students. And two guys you didn't know mm -hmm. that from did jail. A, did it combined how many years? <laughs> All right, let me let me ask another thing. Jail. Were the two <laughs> prisoners, ex-cons, wanded when they came in? Were they what? Were wanded. they wanded? I, they I checked in? them. Didn't have anything. Wait, I we had to check them. My hands. You you frisked that? Oh uh, sure, of course I did. Wait, Poe, but they've been in prison. They could shove some stuff up their poop shoe. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't have any They're weapons. Duper. Thanks. Didn't have any weapons. Because I, I was I, I would think maybe you might feel that that would be disrespectful toward them to frisk them. No, no, no. They didn't have any weapons and they oh, were very you didn't respectful. You these guys. You 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 met them on Craigslist. You, you looked them up on the fucking internet. But, That's but, scary shit. Okay, but wait a second, Opie. You have guests that come in and some comedians you know They're and some not. people. They're not. <laughs> Sure, but, okay, Deadly but we're comedians. talking about a different arena. We're talking about a, a different a different show altogether. My show consists of survival. My show consists of martial arts, street fighting. Right. And I'm not going to get people that... This is your mistake, though, Poe. Listen to me. It, I understand that it's your show and all, but to like mix like guys that you barely know from the internet that did 20 years in the joint with like regular fans and aunt's sister... You kind of lost us. I'll say this, you though. This, lost this got me back a little bit. The fact there were two guys. For a minute, though, I thought I, there was like nine guys he didn't know. Two guys, and to me, Paul brought eight students. Now, the gun thing is uh, uh, certainly... But I kind of see it like these are guys that are, are probably not going to cause a problem. They're, they're there for a fighting style that they're known for. It's almost like Marvin Hagler, who did become a champion, but he's an ex-con. Right. Like, a lot of guys go to jail, learn to fight, and then come out. I so would... I would have like kept the fans away then, maybe because it is a touchy situation. I understand having them on the show right. and learning about them, but to have fans uh, mixed in with that when you're the security guard and you're not doing the security detail because you're doing the show, that's a little a little shaky. What, what was the other guy? And, in the and that's for? the answer to your question, by the way. We we decided a long time ago we do need security for that very thing. Hence, you're around here and Kenny's around here, uh, making sure nothing goes wrong. What was the other guy in the joint for? Just drugs. Just drugs. Both were drugs? Yes. 20 years. 20 years for the one guy, no. how many for the other? Oh, uh, no, he was in and out. Oh, that's all right. All These right. are hardcore guys. Fucking well, yeah. convicts. Fucking mm -hmm. A. All right, where are we with the email? You took your deep breaths, right? Yeah, deep breaths. Uh, would it, where it wouldn't hinder the first radio show of my life. In closing, my guest approached me afterwards and were completely embarrassed for me about this incident. Were they really? What did they say to you? 
I can't believe you yelled at him like that. <laughs> Aren't they used to like yelling and screaming and shanking and? Well, there are guys who, who, who are used to be if you disrespect them, if you if if you disrespect a guy like like that, the, the, the way they handle it is is through barbarism and violent. They're violent guys, man. Yeah. They handle that shit. That's what this email to me is. Because Paul and Danny don't like each other. To me, this email is is this is Danny's jaw staying hinged. Right. This is meaning like his way of pose and I'm not knocking you, Paul. I like you. But Paul's way of, of handling something like this is probably through brute fucking force. A good mouth fucking. At, at best. <laughs> right. But, at best. But, but Paul's instinct But it's to teach a lesson so there's nothing gay about Paul's instinct. How is close to be did savage. he get to a good mouth fucking? No, I wouldn't touch him. Not you, one of your convicts. No one would touch him. But you know what I'm saying, though? In that world, with the way these guys operate, which is through being physically fucking... They're brutes, man. Their, their way of handling it is a fucking savage ass yeah. beating. It's a shame that Sam didn't come that night because he was supposed but, to videotape. E-Rock. Um, he was scared. That's all right. You had two other people that are doing it for you. I'm sure, I'm sure everything worked out in the end. I didn't have anyone videotaping. E-Rock, Poe, mm -hmm. you, you just said that um, these convicts you had interviewed before... You brought them into the show, right? Mm -hmm. Were these the same guys you brought in late at night and had Buddy from the High Standards Channel help you engineering the interview in the other studio? Correct. So, all right, you're saying you interviewed these guys to make sure they were okay to bring on to the show and bring to this facility by bringing them to this facility before to interview them to see if they were okay to bring back. To the facility. Well, I was there. Yeah. Oh. I was the one interviewing them. Okay. I'm, Twi I'm in once? charge of security. And I could handle whatever, you know, could have happened, but they were very respectful and we spoke. We had coffee with each other and, and we talked about their uh, their experiences, which uh -oh. is uh, pretty bad. All right. Hey, can I can I let me just ask you a question then? If you brought them here to do the interview and ha had it re uh, recorded here, um, you had asked me for the digital recorder to do some interviews. Mm -hmm. Why didn't you just use that and do it outside of the facility before, and then determine they were okay to bring up here? I was having difficulty with that. All right, listen, I, I got to move this along. Matt from uh, Queensbury. No, he, Matt, the fucking linebacker. Matt LaFaw. Uh, <laughs> he writes, uh, Poe's interview. Poe, will you do anything bad if I have you in the studio? Thug number one, no. Thug number two, no. Poe. Welcome to the arena. No, here's, here's, here's how it went. Here's how it went. Thug number one, no. Thug number two, yeah, motherfucker, elbow. No, I mean, no. <laughs> All right, here's the... Wow, this is where E-Rock better get back in here. Uh, in closing, my guest approached me. Okay. After the show was completed, I approached Eric Nagel, a.k.a. E-Rock, the executive producer for that <laughs> evening. He, he's above you. I, I, this is news to me. Thanks, Paul. I thanked him for, for assisting Promotion. me and also for the way he treated all my guests. I asked E-Rock if I was out of line, and E-Rock replied, no. Ooh. Also, I didn't hear the screaming like I stated oh, before. Wow. I saw Poe take Danny outside. I was busy running this There's board the back here. backpedaling. And that, no, it's not backpedaling, because oh, well, no, he came fair, in fair. and he said, Danny, would, and I knew Danny was a little hot, Based on the situation, and he goes, "Was I out of the line?" <laughs> Eric, I'm a lot hot. Okay. Uh, collar was he? Sorry. Don't touch. Grab me his there. cock. No. Um, <laughs> Just grab he it. He said, "Was I out of line?" Because I thought it was just a regular argument. Right. I said, "No, you weren't." Then stop. Well, then when I found out <laughs> <laughs> later on from Danny that how bad it was. Uh huh. That was a difference. I will always be grateful to Eric and consider him to be Wait. a professional to a level oh, that XM should be proud of. But before that, he's right. Oh. For further information, contact Eric Nagel direct. Well, Danny, uh, excuse me. You're right, Eric, you know, like Eric Nagel direct is his name. Eric, Eric did say <laughs> that Danny has done this before. Oh, what, what Eric? Are you talking about Eric? Oh, Eric? Jesus Christ. Do you know how long I've been? I've been doing the Saturday Night Virus for over a year without incident. Without this is my very first incident. Without incident. Eric, well, hold on now. Eric? Okay. Danny's done what before. Yeah. When, Dan, uh, when Poe was, was re referencing Danny, has Danny um, yelled and, got, and exploded before? Yes, he has. We all have. Everybody gets mad. We get mad. What he's talking about, embarrassing him in front of, uh, of his, uh, friends. his fans and friends and, and his uh, guests here, that's not what I meant about him doing this before he hasn't done that to bob kelly or patrice or anybody else who do, does their shows here has he blown up at me and yelled about stuff has he blown up at steve yes you've seen that he does that sometimes but we work through it 
So when I did say, yes, he's done this before, it's true. And that's why I said, don't quote me on that because it could be taken out of context. He said, if they want to talk to me, tell them they can talk to me. All right. Hold Shut up for two minutes! <laughs> <laughs> Any, anything else, Hedgehog? Ah, my new favorite. <laughs> Sonic. Sonic. <laughs> yeah, Sonic. Sonic, Sonic. has... Uh, I mentioned to Eric that Steve was well aware of everything and there was not going to be a problem. I just had to make sure the paperwork was thoroughly completed. He had no time, did not see a reason to confront me with a complaint, nor was he having little outbursts thereafter. I will always be grateful to Eric and consider him to be a professional to a level that XM should be very proud of. Eric, everyone, cool. everyone was a witness oh. to Danny's outburst, and I will not okay. stand down, stand by, and allow this behavior to go unnoticed. Nor will I. Respectfully submitted, Master Poe. But so far, no one really heard Danny's outburst. Cockmeat! Nothing but cockmeat! <laughs> <laughs> well, you're not getting Billy Hayes on the phone, and I don't know why he was supposed to call. Because he's not a rat. Well, if you're, I mean, you're talking so highly of this of, of Billy. I don't know Billy personally, but I mean, if you want him on the phone so bad, I could only imagine he's going to take your side, Bo. I mean, we're, we're, heard... we're not exactly getting a third party here. All right, I could me... call one of my best friends too and have him, you know, go to bat for me. <laughs> the Let's... people that were there was Mike. Mike and Heather were there. Okay, I'm sure they could call in. Yeah, I'm waiting for them. Sure, they could. All right, let's say hi to uh, John in Smithtown. John. Hey, how you doing, Anthony? I hope you. I'm sorry. Uh, at what point did Poe think that it was safe to bring in two convicted felons with the assholes that are the Opie and Anthony listeners? Hey, John, don't embarrass Poe in front of his friends. He's you not could have pulled him aside and ask him that. <laughs> <laughs> Check it out. All right, thank you. Uh, let's say Carl. Hey, Carl from Florida. What's up? Yeah, yeah, come on. Go ahead, Carl. Hey, how you guys, hey, how you guys doing? Good. Hey, you can up? hear the disrespect already in Danny's voice talking to Poe. He interrupts him. He contradicts him. I You're right. I don't respect people who from. scream in my face. Now, you Carl. Started, you can hear the disrespect going on right there in the conversation that you're having right now. All right, well, you're, you're in my shoes. you got to produce a radio show, right? And then you have this 30... You, the, the area where there's a viewing area is just packed. To, it's at capacity. I think you might be a little annoyed with that. So what okay, you're saying is you got out of line? Fine, you can take no, I didn't get out of line. I asked you once again and talk to him for the third and, time. And, and you put out interrupting him right now. You cut him off. You're short with him. All right, thank you, sir. All right, good, great. Let's go to Jay in right. Cleveland. Jay? Frunk. Hey, what's going on? Hey, hey. speed round. we got to get out of here. Let's go. Okay, you want to talk about disrespect? Me paying 12 bucks a month to listen to Poe. Jesus Christ, I get more laughs out of Sean Hannity. Yes. <laughs> were you going for laughs on the show, uh, no. uh, Poe? No, we were just telling the truth. All right, let's go to Leo. Leo! Yo! Hey. Dude. Uh, I want to know if all this is what preceded the pad data because that was making me laugh my ass off the entire friggin' time home. <laughs> what, what was Master on the pad Poe's, data? Master Poe's first and last show. Call in, plug Jimmy. Call in, plug uh, F.H. Riley's. Uh, yeah, we, we have some examples up on foundrymusic.com. Oh, no. uh, it was great. All right. What do you got there? Now go back to Master Poo. Uh, well, first it says Poe, the phone number, that says call. Say us, hang up. What do you got? <laughs> um, chocolate cake? And then it says... What? This. What? What was that beeping? Ew. Oh, that's, oh, oh. Ew. Uh, what, then, what hacky thing are you doing? What? Eric, what? <laughs> right. Oh, my what? God. What happened? What do you got? <laughs> what? We were trying to ease the tension in the back office, so we found cake. We figured <laughs> we'd give him some cake. When? Who who figured? Look at I that's did. how I am. When? Where is the cake here now? <laughs> yeah. Sonic decided to bring cake for these guys. When? Right here. Oh, right here. It's Who's Sonic? Old hedgehog hair. A rock is now Sonic. Look at that. Mm, Look at that toupee you wear. Holy fuck, that looks good. <laughs> yeah. What kind of cake is that? <laughs> Motherfucker. Where's yeah. that from? From I think it's ice cream cake. From Thanksgiving on Friday. I don't want that fucking weekend cake. <laughs> <laughs> I know it wasn't for me. Thank you, Eric. But I might want to bite. All right, let's uh, say hi to Sydney in Kentucky. Sydney? Hunt. What's up? Hey. I can tell you what's going on here. Look, I've been in the martial arts since I was three. You pack 30 thugs, 30 <clears throat> tough guys in a room, and with Poe being their swinging dick, you know, their big leader. And then when Danny comes over and tries to pull rank or anything just 
even mm-hmm. politely. You, know, you think mm-hmm. this might be too many people. Bo's got to show how big his dick yep. is, and he's going to get tough in front of everybody. Did I step on your cock, Poe? Do you know something? Um, I'm sorry. What is your name, buddy? Danny. No, not you. Sydney. <laughs> Have a bite, Sydney. Have your cake. How are you, Sydney? Not uh, too bad, though. Th- bro, there was not one single problem there. Not one. Oh, no one's... And everyone sat down and was oh. as quiet as a mouse. You're arguing... And they listened to the show, and they were everyone was respectful to each other. I'm not saying that there was any problems at all. I'm just saying right. that... You as being the guy who's supposed to be running the show, I guarantee you felt the urge to maintain your position as the head oh, cock. Not necessarily. Oh. Not necessarily. Five minutes before the show, a show that I've never done before, um, I thought it was inappropriate. He could have pulled me to the side, and if he would have told me 30 was too much, I would have had half the people leave. But you would have had to have actually spoke not... to me about it first. Paul, I, I, no one's arguing the behavior of your guests. Okay. I never said that your guests misbehaved. Okay. I never said that your, that your guests destroyed any XM property. Including the 52 black guys. Yeah. I, I, when did I ever say that they were misbehaved? Okay. When did I say that they were misbehaved? So they weren't causing any problems? No, absolutely when... not. We good. mentioned before that the possibility of something okay. happening because they were oh, ex con When did I say that they were a problem? Okay, well, that was just brought up to the conversation. When did I say that they were a problem? I don't have a problem with any of your guests, Paul. I had a problem. You're avoiding the issue. You're totally avoiding the issue and, and deflecting to your guests behaving well. No one's arguing that your guests were well-behaved. They were. My point is that you, you screamed in my face. That's my biggest point. That's the biggest issue that I have with you, is that you got loud with me, and then you send this fucking email out oh. saying that I got in your face about it, which is completely not the case. I would not have gotten aggravated if you did yell first. Didn't yell at you, Paul. We could, I'm, we, there's 80,000 cameras in here. I'm sure we can get to the bottom of it. Okay. Well, they don't have audio. Well, then we'll get somebody it's who was here. There was 800 video. people here. Yeah, so I'm well, sure somebody, uh, somebody again, there heard was people oh, Did you and, or did you not? Hang on. And, and, uh, and just let me ask you a question. Did you or did you not purposely, with purpose, you opened the door, like as you were taking me out in the hall, and when you screamed, not only did you scream in my face, but you purposely turned your head into the doorway so that you could make everyone aware all of your guests quite aware that you were screaming at me. No, that's ridiculous because I tried to pull you away from the guests and I wanted you to go into the hallway, which oh, again, Eric well, we were thought, already there, so no, I don't I get wanted it. to pull you away from the guests and you were not coming with me I, and I, I wanted to pull was you away from you. the guests. And then when we, when we went outside, oh, now you're just lying. I'm trying to shut the door and then finally I did shut the door. Danny, I, well, I let's did look shut at the secure. door. Don't we have and security the door was footage? Closed. Can we look at it, please? Afterwards, I'm the sick door of my was word closed. versus yours. Well, yeah, after, you know, after you screamed and you made your guest well aware that you were screaming at it me, Paul. It seems as though that maybe that, that caller oh was God. correct, that you do have a problem with me, that there's a personal problem. Yeah, now I do. Absolutely. I, would yeah. never I have, have problems done, with people who scream in my I face. Have, I would never have done anything if you wouldn't have oh, raised your voice. And if, if Steve would have told me, Paul, 30, no good. I would have said, okay, fine, no problem. I would have sent out emails to arguing that point whoever either. was there, and I would have said, look, no, no good. Deflect. Let's uh, not bring these uh, people did in. Did you or did you not scream in my face? Did you scream at me? No. Come on, no, Danny. I no, I didn't, Paul. Oh, Paul's ready to admit that he screamed at you. Come on, Danny. I didn't scream at you, Paul. I did scream. I, I mean, I, 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 if you, I think if you, you did. Pardon me. That's the if problem you, I have. If you read in the letter, of course. I, I shouldn't have I had said, to have read it in a letter. Well, you know something? I tried to talk to you that night, but you were not able to, I was not able to speak to you at all, Danny. Because while well, you were able to, to scream at this, me. I said, my exact words was, look, Danny, come on, let's talk. And he says, you're not backing up, and you were very adamant. And you you weren't backing you up. You just screamed in my the, face like I was a child. Three minutes before a show that I don't know anything about, as you all know. Okay? But the fact is that I was ready to go into a show. And oh my, my guests were late. <laughs> All right, listen, we got... I wanted to clear late. this up. All right, we got Mark from New York City. I got to take Poe's side. We got Dan from Philly. Poe is skating the issue. So why mm-hmm. don't we get Mark and Dan to talk it out here? And one question, too. <laughs> we, do, we are running against the clock here. If we have to finish this tomorrow, there's more shit to be resolved. I don't I don't think we don't have to have it wrapped up today. Oh, we can. Oh, say. absolutely. I think we got some more stuff. Uh, uh, I agree. Here we go. Let's Over go. There. Dan, you're on with Mark. What's up? All right, I'm just saying that, you know, conveniently, every time something is brought up against Poe, he magically forgets everything. Like, you intentionally send an email to your boss. You intentionally open the door to screen to let everybody know that you're the alpha male. It's like, I don't understand how you can forget everything that is brought up against you, and it just gets turned around on how well-behaved your guests are. Exactly. It doesn't make any sense. You know what I mean? I'm I'm just calling to tell Danny to stop defending himself because you haven't answered one question 
or, or one of these accusations at all. Every time somebody brings up something negative about you, you forget about it. Wait, wait, hang, hang on, hang on, and, pause and on the call. Back to, <laughs> go ahead. No, go ahead. <laughs> it goes back to even even the stuff that you do in Anthony's truck. Like, you get in, you program your stations. Like, how do you just... It, it, you do that shit intentionally, bro. Like, it, it's something done intentionally. Nobody just, like, magically presets five stations on somebody's radio and then forgets. You know what I mean? Like, you do this stuff with a purpose. Oh, I did call on the deny the fact that you do it. <laughs> really? Oh, my God, the you know Pac-Man I mean? music. Uh, Super Mario. That's what I meant. <laughs> Whatever. All right, we got to get out of here. Tomorrow we, we got to finish this on the XM. We got to finish it tomorrow. This Thank is not you. done. Yeah. The phones are just. We did lit. a five hour and 45 minute radio show. No, today we didn't. With fucking. There was a quality hour in here somewhere. Somewhere. Starting with one. Six until now. There's pieces together. Hey, I don't I care. As long as we got Steve's fucking tirade. To end the show with that, please. Oh, please. I yeah, want to hear it. Yeah, no one lied today the day No. But thank you, BodogFantasy.net. They're the sponsor of uh, Line of the Day. It's a great website if you're into the fantasy football thing, so you might want to check it out. BodogFantasy.net. Is there alcohol in that cake I just ate? Yes. Uh, Master Pope. No. Better not be. There might be, though. Yes, Opie. There might be a cordial in there. Rum cake? Some of that cordial. It's not rum cake. No, it better not be. No, it's peanut butter. I had a couple bites. One minute. Uh, Poe, thank you. Oh, right. Close. Uh, Danny, Close. thank you. You're welcome. Tomorrow we finish this up. We got it. This is an ongoing thing here. Oh, my God. Let's make seconds. believe it didn't happen. No, I think we got to finish it. <laughs> I forgot this music ever played. Yeah, this is like from is the old days. We were just doing four hours. Longer, right, Jimmy? Longer. <laughs> It's not going to be timed out right, so just hit the sound effect, Butcher. <laughs> Shut you. up for two minutes! <laughs> Shut you. up for two minutes! <laughs> Is that it? Oh, yeah. so, bye, everybody. I guess we're out of here. I don't what know. What are you doing, Butcher? <laughs> Shut <laughs> up for two minutes! What is he... Well, where's yeah, Paul? Sure is, can, we have, can we have Paul in here? Oh. I guess. <laughs> yeah, what the fuck? I, Where's the I name guess. 52 Blocks come from? What is that, Poe? It is oh. 52 blocks. They have 52 blocks within the system. <clears throat> Cell blocks? No. Oh, block as in blocking? Deflections, yes. Oh, okay. Oh, I was watching geez, that, guy's that video. makes too much sense. And What's his you? name, Light? Light Burley. Did yeah. I win? Did you live on uh, Prospect Street in Huntington? Um, no, I never lived there. Somebody I know does. I'm trying to remember. So light burly. No, I never um, lived there. Did, did good he friend of mine. Twenty years. Oh, maybe I shouldn't say good friend of mine. Uh, is now living on, no. On the other guy did Street in Huntington. I'm such an asshole. Oops. <laughs> 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 Fucking stork. Sorry for blowing up your spot. Oh. <laughs> I'm, I'm an idiot. I thought it was you. It must have been my brother. He, he's lived at about 10 or 12 locations in uh, Huntington. All right, so Danny and Poe, you guys getting along? You're looking at each other? You're shaking hands? Are you usting each other? What are you doing? I will treat Poe like I, like I would normally treat him on a daily basis. You're usting each other. <laughs> yeah, I'd like to move forward. And um, <clears throat> I don't want to have uh, any problems with Danny. You didn't sleep last night, did you? This was very traumatic for you. No, I slept. Did you sleep, Danny? No, like a baby, actually. Well, you shit yourself. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit. All right, here's uh, the first uh, clip from Poe's radio show. Poe's guest tells story of what made him want to get into martial arts, right? What guest is yes. that? Um, <clears throat> trying to figure out which, which guest are we talking about. It could be um, oh. Grandmaster Lentius. Yes, it was him. What? Grandmaster Lentius. Oh, Lentius. That guy, wow. He looks pretty nasty. Yes, he is. Why was he in jail? The no, he wasn't in oh. jail. Oh. And this is from 1983. <laughs> How old is this Dude. guy? Holy shit. Let me see. Well, Pose, Pose guests were, were a little old on the old side. The film battle of the year, Chuck Norris versus Dave David Kung Fu Carradine. This is off an official karate magazine uh, cover. Uh, interview with Joe Lewis. Okay, look, look this is from 80. That's, wow. That would be Grandmaster Lentius. He is a legend within the Shotokan system. Shotokan. And yes. what is that? Shotokan is a Japanese art, Japanese martial art. Oh, it's uh, very hard blocks, hard kicks, hard punches. I do the Shotokan. Is he the white guy? Or the, or the, is he the white guy or the brother? He's the guy that's hitting the... Uh, 
the other guy. Yeah, it would be silly if you're on a magazine cover getting your ass kicked. <laughs> How old is <laughs> <You know>? he? <laughs> it's like I made the cover. Look, I'm getting punched. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, Pete. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have a negative? <laughs> Is there a negative for that? No, that was given to me by Grandmaster Lunches, oh, I'd say about 20 years Does ago. Does Grandmaster Lunch have another one? <laughs> mm. I hope so. Oh, Jesus. I'm sure he does. There was no need to do that. <laughs> it's okay. It's radio. <laughs> no, look, see. I know. He's <laughs> no a good wins. boy. Could, uh, all right, here, let's play the clip. Not fucking I crazy. Didn't know. <laughs> you didn't? No. Oh, like, my uh, God, you're still holding your yeah. <laughs> like, oh, jeez. Uh, all right, let's go. Anyway, play what the... happened was going to school in the daytime, the white kids beat me up. Coming home at night, the black kids beat me up. So one day, the white gang grabbed me outside and with a makeshift meat hook, which is a nail bent through a piece of wood, they hung me on a white picket fence by my thumb, and with my own blood, they wrote the word Jew, so I wouldn't forget. I haven't. Jesus. Um, well, I'm sorry oh, that man, happened you to missed you. The you missed the <laughs> bet. Oh, he ushed? Yeah, it right. Was the nose. That's okay. <laughs> Wait, go back. I got to hear. We'll listen again. After this dramatic story, Poe's uh, comment was, a somber picket fence by my Oof. thumb, and with my own blood, they wrote the word Jew, so I wouldn't forget. I haven't. Us. Um, well, I'm sorry that Oof. happened to you. Well, well, you uh, this is like an us for all occasions. Yes, it is. Us. Yeah. It's like good to see you. <laughs> us. Us. It's kind of like the it's kind of like the Brady Bunch theme. There's many different uh, versions. Us. You're gonna comment. Uh, 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 us. Uh, Grandmaster Lynch just actually explains. He has his own uh, description of what us means. Yes, that'll all be coming up oh, later in the okay. clips. Because it's a it's a mystery to all of us. What how to let's, use us? Let's keep Tra it that Travis way. Uh, suggested that Poe uses us like the way Tim Allen grunts on Home Improvement. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I was under the impression, seeing Poe use the word us, that it was a greeting that perhaps people familiar with martial arts use for each other. So because walking down the sidewalk, I'll see like uh, the doorman at the uh, hotel up there will go, us, and uh, maybe a garbage man on the side of the road, us. Mm -hmm. like they all know Poe as he takes uh, the... The Mayor Poe walk up 57th, <laughs> and everybody's us. But I didn't know you could just go like, you know, a somber, like like the the Jewish uh, story there with the blood and the, the us. Well, I didn't uh, know you could just, oh, well, us, man. Us. Well, Greg Brady's leftovers from um, Wisconsin writes, I miss Grandmaster lunch, so I'm really looking forward to Grandmaster <laughs> supper. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, I can says us. <laughs> <laughs> it's for any occasion. Moving on with the Master Poe radio show, where he talks about uh, everything is a weapon in this clip, or somebody well, does. Uh, through a supermarket, a hardware store, anywhere you go, everything is a weapon. Everything. Us. And people don't understand that. They don't understand that. If you're walking down the street and a gang is coming down the other way, and you know they're coming after you. You're not going to be, you know, Kung Fu Louie or somebody trying to knock them out. The best thing to do is pick up a garbage can or a brick, throw it through a supermarket window. Because if you yell help or fire, nobody's going to come. Throw a brick through a window, the manager and all the employees will run out in that street, and they'll be gone. What if it's 3 in the morning? Us. Oh, oh sorry. Us. I almost stepped in another us. Yeah. So that's an acknowledgment of, like... I agree. I hear you. So the first is us, that like uh, I know what you know what I'm saying. That's exactly what it is, and and it's giving respect. If you don't say anything, you're not respecting your. Ah. Uh, did anyone ever get uh, Grandmaster Lunch some water for his dry, <laughs> his dry mouth? It's Grandmaster, what's his name? Lunches. He talks, Lunches. Like, he talks like the old Indian from Natural Born Killers. <laughs> yeah, he's got that old. He's got a little Jimmy Superfly in him too. That's who he yeah, is. Yeah, there's a lot of Jimmy Superfly. Uh, That's who it is. And his other guest, uh, coincidentally, okay. sounds exactly like somebody else as okay. well. Okay. How old is this gentleman? Uh, he's about 70, 72, I think. Could he still handle himself? Oh yes. Yeah, I wouldn't fuck. Is he still guy. a problem? It was not here, but he can. No, no, but I mean, in a, if someone came at him for fisticuffs, he'll rip him apart. Huh? Us. 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 Come on. Us, Us Jim. Us. Us. If Jewish people say Us. Us. Poe compares. Us. Whoa. Poe compares karate to comedy, huh? 
Oh, no. Oh, that's interesting. Oh. little uh, juxtaposition. We finally get to hear Master oh, Poe on his own radio show. Let's hear it. <laughs> Instead of Opie, Opie and Anthony, Jim Norton, these are the guys that I'm with every day, and they're amazing. Uh, I got to oh. give props to these guys nice. because there's a, a similarity here that I'm going to talk to you about. Comedians, when you attack them with a joke, and, and, and I'm not a, a comedian. I, I, I can never do what they do, but... Uh, I give them the biggest us ever. Because when you attack them with a joke, they come a right us. back at you. I mean, they hit you hard. And no matter what happens, you can come back again. They're going to hit you again. They're going to come back. And it's just like, like a, a ping pong. And, and they never stop. That's what makes a great comedian. Absolutely. Us. us. Now I'm going to say us. And we, want us. The, and we want the biggest us ever, like you said in that clip. Let's hear it. Us. Whoa. Us. That's pretty big. No, this is even bigger. I just pictured a giant us. <laughs> like this huge us. Like a cloud. It's, yeah, it just yeah, out it us. Is giant. <laughs> this is bigger. Us squared. <laughs> I have us times eight. <laughs> wow. Us. 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 <laughs> I like your Alan Alda Alan Alda Oz. <laughs> Sam Sam we got a us. We got a us, Sam Uh oh Great man. Blood Yeah the I'm gonna give you The biggest us ever That's right You take this us Us <laughs> <laughs> huh. So you think You're gonna emerge Victorious In the rage In a cage Us <laughs> That's right! You take my ass! <laughs> no chance in hell! You aren't get You cannot get a bigger us than I'm gonna give you right now! <laughs> <laughs> and you're teamed up with Grandmaster Lunch! You think you can beat Grandmaster Lunch? Us! Us I are! It's all right, I don't have to sing for a while. I can do angry events. You want me? <laughs> it's those weeks I got to sing over. It ain't happening. It ain't happening this week. <laughs> hey, Dave B. from Philly writes, Jim Norton makes people laugh and post stabs people in the chest with his thumb. It's so similar, it's scary. <laughs> <laughs> I'm scared of that helicopter. Us. Us. <laughs> all right, we go on to Grandmaster Banks. He shoots down the UFC. That's a little crazy there, Puff. <clears throat> let's talk about truth, man. Let's really bring it out, and let's. Re and I'm All glad right, that you're the, doing stop it. Stop the clip, not. please. Grandmaster Banks, we need a little uh, background. Is he a convict? No, no. <laughs> great grand, <laughs> great grandmaster Banks is one of the leading authority in the uh, in promotion of martial arts uh, tournaments, uh, World Martial Arts Hall of Fame. How old is he? He's eighty. Wow, so he's still, eighty. He's still fight. Uh, no, if you... I mean, not professionally, but I mean, like, uh, if, if someone gave him a problem. No, if you cough, he may fall down. Oh, really? <laughs> He's an old man. He's 80 <laughs> years old. And he coincidentally sounds exactly like Brooks from the Shawshank Redemption. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but the other guy... Could I might just himself. shoot him. <laughs> did, did, I got a job at the food way. <laughs> the food way. Did you ask him about Rapper's Delight? Uh, no. <laughs> So no. Grandmaster Lodge can take care of himself, but this guy's probably a little bit too Grandmaster fair. Banks. <laughs> Banks, is, Banks is super. Great Grandmaster Banks. He, um, so he, when, did, when did you get into talking about, like, uh, the, the roots of rap? Uh, we didn't discuss rap. That's why, is great, why is it Grandmaster one and Great Grandmaster jumped. for the other? Well, that's his title, and out of respect, that's what we give him. Okay. Uh, us. They're both ten to, <laughs> us to everybody. Four different conversations going oh, on. Oh, I know. It's Enjoy just, your favorite. <laughs> <laughs> just pick, pick, pick one, one and, go with and it. just go with it. That would be the easiest way to enjoy a radio I'm show. I'm trying to get a Grandmaster Flash joke together. Those guys are on their own. I'm fucking, fucking laughing and at the asking Shawshank real Shawshank joke that Dan right. just said. Oh, that's what we're and, I didn't even know that. You kept saying that. And Jim's carrying on. We had three conversations going on. I'm like, I think I can get this Grandmaster Flash thing going if someone Holy would pay attention. Holy shit. Jimmy's asking normal questions. Ant and Danny are having their own fucking thing. <laughs> and you're, and you're just firing out pre-1980 rap lines. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's, talk, let's talk to Dawny, who was not safe last Saturday. I don't care what anyone says. Dawny, I apologize that you had to hang out with convicts. It was pretty scary, but we managed. All right. 
Us. So, um, <laughs> <laughs> us, Dawn, us. Us, us. We were on the elevator leaving that night, and uh, the grandmaster gets on a packed elevator, and he turns to one of his entourage and farts. Him up there and goes, <laughs> was that a radio show? <laughs> no way. You know where he was. Was that a radio show? <laughs> Us. He didn't know if it was radio or TV or what. Us. 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 Wow. Let me ask you a question. There's 52 blocks, Poe, you had those guys on. There's two of those guys? Yes. Um, now, did they feel, because the whole thing was between Poe and Danny, you thought that he had been disrespectful in front of your guests, but none of your guests have called in to say that, that he was or wasn't. Hmm. Well, it, it seems like they're not going to call in. Um, Why? And I, I don't know, and, and that's okay, but what I'd like to say for the record is um, I think we both got out of hand. And in regards to the letter, I was angry at the time. Well, that's what the record is. Like well. I said, I was angry at the time. See your grandma's and for Thanksgiving, Donny. Ah, uh, see you Thanksgiving. <laughs> Bye, Donny. <laughs> <laughs> so why won't you call in to discuss? Why yeah. why not? I would plug that guy in a second because I want a copy of his DVD. Oh yeah. All right, let's go to Scooter in Illinois. Scooter's got something. Scooter. Scooter. Hey, Scooter. Concrete walkers. Concrete <laughs> city people. Can we get a city people prank Why walk? don't you go, go put shoes on and walk around on on the concrete? You got to get the uh, the original. Uh, what is it? The uh, What is it called? Terrorist telemarketers? What, what prank uh, call tape uh, was that from? It's hilarious. We'll, we'll find it. That guy's voice was hilarious. Touch tone terrorist, right. Mm. Uh, Scooter, what's up? Yeah, Get a good Scooter call. One of the originals. Picture, huh? Picture your grandmaster naked. <laughs> <laughs> linger, linger. <laughs> Wait, Paul, how come one of those guys won't call in? Like the 52 Blocks guy. I would love to hear from one of those guys. No, 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 no. They don't have XM. Uh, they're not listening to the show right now. Tell them to steal one. Their prepaid cards ran out. Well, you could call them, couldn't you? <laughs> sure, I could call them. All right. Why the dramatic monotone? <clears throat> My throat, My throat hurts. My throat hurts. From usin? Too much us. No. <laughs> Sometimes he does these usses, you'd think it was real. <laughs> <laughs> right. Doctor's going to tell him to not us for a week. Yes. All right, let's meet Grandmaster Banks. He shoots down the UFC. A lot of fans of the UFC. Oh, man, boy. Yes. Let's see what uh, Grandmaster Banks has to say about that. Let's talk about truth, man. Let's really bring it out. <laughs> And let's. Re and I'm glad that you're doing it. And I, you know, and I love you for that, uh, Robert Rivera, you're gonna eat that? Uh, Master <laughs> Poe, because that's what th this is what it's all about. Okay, I, I don't want to take up too much time here, you know, talking about it. But somebody's got to say something about it, uh, especially with the garbage that I, you see on television with this ultimate challenge thing and all that. Yeah, I mean, it, yeah, it is a joke. It is, because it's not real martial arts. They call it martial arts, but it is not martial arts. It's what I call DF. It's called degenerate fighting. Ooh, I saw an automobile once when I was a kid, <laughs> but now they're everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Seems things are just getting a little faster. <laughs> I hear a lot of different people in that voice. But wait, you, UFC fighting is good fighting, man. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. I, I, listen, I wasn't agreeing with him yeah. in regards to that because personally, uh. the, the, the UFC or uh, Valley Tudo, these guys are in incredible shape and they fight very, very hard. You tell me a guy Plus, like Crow Cop, Mirko Crow Cop, or fucking Fedor couldn't beat a traditional martial Of course they I mean, those guys are bad motherfuckers, man. Us. I, I'm not us. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's not my argument. Our argument, uh, Grandma Salentius and I, is uh, if, if you take the mixed martial arts and you go out into the street and you go down to the ground, that's dangerous. That's one of our us. arguments. As far as Great Grandmaster Aaron us. Banks, I'm, I'm, I'm really Plus, not sure yeah. because he, he has to... Oh, you're to... saying that's dangerous in a good way. Like, it's a dangerous... Us. Us. Jimmy. Us. us. Good us right there. Us. us. Are you saying it's a good thing? Us. us. No, no, to go down to the ground us is to not your good. us. It, it's and I don't dangerous. want to get your us. Damn it. What if us. someone... But what if someone... Us, mate. But what if someone gets Damn. you down? <laughs> What's that? What if someone... Us. Gets us. you down? Us. If someone gets you down, it's good to have that knowledge, right? Well, if someone gets you down, absolutely. You need us, to have that us. that knowledge. Us. And most definitely Jamie, these guys are... Jamie, I acknowledge your us, us and raise you an us. Okay. And a, another us. <laughs> you know what? I've decided to go all in on my us again. <laughs> no, man. <laughs> Damn it. 
I was bluffing. I see your Take us. it down. I see your us, and I raise you a he <laughs> After this round, let's raise the us's. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to throw in a us, and uh, I'm going to raise you a word. Damn. <laughs> but one of the things that, that we were discussing is... is to your mother, would that work better? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> All right, well. If you do go down to the ground, you can have like four or five guys or ten guys or 15 guys waiting on the side. And once you're on the ground, they're going to kick you in the head. And, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, you know, yeah, throw everyone. You can get gum on yourself. And you can get gum on yes. Us. 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 Just. Us. Us, Sophie. Us. That was an ass. Us. An ass. This. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. You might be ussing it. Yeah, yeah, it smells like us. <laughs> you gotta wipe your us. <laughs> uh, <laughs> us hole. <laughs> what an us. All right, hey. So, uh, why don't we. Uh, t so, this next clip is a fan calling. What's this about, Danny? There seems to be. There seems to be something going on here because it's fan in quotes. Well, yeah. And you put you this know. together, Danny. The. Uh, Poe had a lot of callers calling into his show, and Poe was excited that he had a lot of callers, so he was anxious to get to a bunch of them. So I think this uh, this clip, there's uh, two phone callers back-to-back. -back. I think it's the first two, actually. All right, let's listen to some fans calling into the master po How do you have fans already? He's well, people were fans. ready to listen. They're, they're your fans. There's, they're not they're mine. fans of uh, the Saturday programming, no matter uh, what's on. No, no matter guys. what crap we throw at them. Yeah, they, love, they love listening. I'm amazed oh. they're still uh, listening to that. So am I. <laughs> now most of it's good. <laughs> most of it. We have a caller. Uh, his name is Chad. Chad, are you there? Hey, Chad. Us. Us. I like that. <laughs> this is cool. Hey, Chad, what's going on? Oh, what happened? You disappeared. You gave me an us and you disappeared? What happened? <laughs> I, I have you to know what? A softer us. I think I'll give him a softer us. Okay, let me have uh, let me have Jay. Hey Jay, what's going on? Hey, what's happening, Paul? How are uh, you, bro? I'm doing fine. Uh, I was just wondering. You were saying uh, what's more martial arts? Um, would you say Rampage Jackson versus Liddell is a bigger martial arts spectacle, or you versus a blonde at F. H. Riley? <laughs> <laughs> That's interesting. Uh, okay, next caller. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next caller. <laughs> prank caller, prank caller, hang up, uh, hang up. <laughs> prank caller, prank caller. That was a good one. That was funny. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> wow. And you martial arts friends are probably like, what the fuck is this guy talking about? <laughs> That's exactly oh. what you said. You should have said you fought a blonde guy. You should have just went with it. <laughs> 400 blocks of <laughs> New York Avenue. <laughs> I tried. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Uh, uh, now we got a, a right. third fan calling. Yeah, this is another. Smart, smart us. All right, <laughs> here we go. Uh, let me have um, Ryan. Ryan. Yes. What's Ooh. going on, Ryan? Us. Us. <laughs> That's cool. They're calling, giving me an us, and hanging up. But at least you're handling it well. I don't know you. Who is this? I'm here. I'm hanging up the phone. Prank caller. Prank caller. <laughs> wow. Okay, we're back live. Um, a lot of ussing going on there, uh, Paul. I noticed. And I guess uh, this is a perfect clip to play now. You finally explain what us means to you, you, Master Poe. Are you? A, are you an actual master? I was given a master. Yes, master's level. I've been training since 1967. Sixty-seven. Oh, okay, yeah. Wow. Five. Five years old. Yeah. Us. <laughs> <laughs> On the playground. <laughs> this baby needs to make a noise. <laughs> <laughs> I was listening when you were banging cheerleaders. <laughs> Mike, you don't come to Las Vegas and us with a man like no green like oh. that. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Three years old, the usses. <laughs> <laughs> Draw chips for everybody here. <laughs>
<laughs> the dancers will kick your wrist out. <laughs> the dancers will lose your tongue out. <laughs> Marlon Brad is ussing with oranges in his mouth. <laughs> oh, oh, <laughs> stop, you're ussing it. She was very badly ussed, you see? <laughs> your Case son point. is attempting to pray. <laughs> <We're> outside usser. <laughs> and and us. <laughs> Wait, what's wrong? Us? What's wrong, Paul? What's wrong? Case in point. In what? what do you mean a case in point? Cook. You guys just... You, you, uh, no, that's amazing. I mean, you guys like like two Puss. fighters. They Puss. fight, they keep on fighting, they keep on going at each other until someone Ow. goes down. Ah, give Puss. me a Diablo and you guys sandwich are... and an Ust and make it fast. I'm going to goddamn it. The sheriff is... <laughs> My hat's off to you guys. That's uh, it. Us. Oh. That's it. All right, here we go. Oh. Here. You like us and Doc? <laughs> <laughs> that was a good, good us, Wade. <laughs> Some pretty sweet us. Oh. Yeah, I fucked that one up. All right, Poe uh, describes that. Not too sure I agree with your us there, Lou. <laughs> Poe describes the us in this clip. Oh, sensei. Yeah. Um, please give us the your definition of us. Oh. That, that's Grandmaster Lynch's. Yeah. To me, because martial arts is my life. It's everything I am. I can't live without it. And the thing about us is a samurai's code. It's a way of the warrior. When I see somebody and I respect them, I bow to them and they bow to me, no matter how big we are, no matter what <laughs> we are, race, religion, or where we come from. And anywhere I've been in the world, I will see somebody with a martial arts gi bag and I'll say to them, us, and they will bow and say, us, and I feel I'm home. This is family. That's what it means to me. It's chivalry. It's valor. It's knights of the round table. Yeah. I like that. Us. I like that. Yeah. Us. That was fantastic. I got the chills when you said all that. Yeah, so you did I. Get any yeah. chills? The douche. Yes, sir. Because it's cold in here. Are you cold? <laughs> One second. Hold on. <laughs> Oh, this is a radio show. Is, is that your cape? Talk. Is that? <laughs> I I subtly throw it over, and then bam! It's a fucking howitzer. You got back oh, up, back up oh, a little bit. Damn. Oh, Can I have a noose? Us, 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 that was fantastic. Shut up for two minutes! <laughs> <laughs> he said, I can smell your host. <laughs> <laughs> you ever see a host come apart like that? <laughs> Let me see your host face. Yeah, I, was about, I had that one. <laughs> Us. Oh. What in the fuck is <laughs> is, is, us, is us allowed in the barracks? <laughs> no, sir. Because <laughs> you are a disgusting us, private pile. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the rest of that clip. I will see somebody with a martial arts gi bag, and I'll say to them, us, and they will bow and say, us, and I feel I'm home. This is family. That's what it means to me. It's chivalry. It's valor. It's knights of the round table. Yeah. I like that. I like that. Yeah. That, was, that was fantastic. I got the chills when you said all that. <laughs> yeah, you know why you're getting your chills? Yes, sir. Because it's cold in here. Oh. Are you cold? <laughs> One second. Hold on. <laughs> cold. Where, where'd you go? Oh, this is a radio show. <laughs> is, is that your cape? Talk. Is that... <laughs> What'd you get him? What did you <laughs> Well, I mean, it's, we're doing a, it's a radio show, and the boat decides he's going to stand up and let, like, you know, 10 seconds of dead air go by while he puts, like, a cape on, on Grandmaster Banks like he's, like he's James Brown. <laughs> <laughs> the, old fella just need a, the old fella just need a sweater. Uh, would you ask me? <laughs> I, I, I ask me so hard. <laughs> That's just automatic, guys. I, you know, I'm sorry. I, I shouldn't yeah, have done right, that. Um,
Let's go to Marie in Florida. Florida. Marie in Florida, what's up? Good evening. Hey, guys. Uh, you know, I got a black belt in Taekwondo on the Upper West Side at Westside Taekwondo from Master Sonny and Jenny Wong, and I have never heard of us in my entire life. Wow. You sound like a black belt. What does a black belt sound like? Exactly. A man. <laughs> a man? I can whoop your ass. So what? <laughs> you notice I don't deny it? Could you really probably give me a beat? How long have you been taking karate? I don't take karate. I told you, taekwondo. Yeah, whatever. Chop, chop, judo, judo. Here you go. Kick, kick. Right. How, how long have you been taking the martial arts? I uh, started when I was... Uh, 35. Us? I'm now 45. 35, us? 35 you started. 10 years, that's how it was. Oh, what, yeah, hap what, yeah. what happened? What happened? I used to fight in tournaments, and I used to win against much, much younger women. <laughs> and I did an international tournament and in, Coral in Colorado Springs. Well, the, and, uh, all right, all right hold on. One. So you started when you were 35, we and you were 34, two Negroes in an elevator? <laughs> yeah, I, I was trying to figure out what happened to her that oh, it wasn't made good. her get into Taekwondo at 35. You live in Manhattan and you walk around by yourself at night. You know, you think about, you know, and, yeah. and it's true. You feel better at night walking around if you know that you can at least protect yourself. Yeah, because when that gun comes out, boy, that Taekwondo yeah, comes yeah, in handy. Yeah, maybe, maybe I was in better shape. I could at least run a little faster. Well, uh, but you never be heard. Ignorant. You, know, yeah. <laughs> you never heard of the, you never heard of the us, though? Never heard of the us. What no. The us? If I did that to my masters, they would be like, hello, are you feeling okay? Hmm. Us, us. Can, can I add something? <laughs> yeah. Yes, you can. Can, <clears throat> can I get a us, us? See you later. <laughs> what, what, I'm sorry. One second. Hello, Taekwondo. What? Hi. How are you? Good. How are you? Thank you. Um, that is a Japanese word, and you take a Korean style. How do you say thank you in Korean? How do you say thank you? Yes. Uh, abrigado. No, that's not Korean, my dear. That's Japanese. That, no, no, abrigado. No, that's, that's, abrigado. that's Brazilian. I know it is. Believe Mr. Me. Roboto. Por favor. So wait a minute. I'm sorry. You've taken, you've taken a Korean style. You're a black belt, and yet you don't know how to say thank you. The most common word used in any in any martial art. That's right. To give respect to the teacher, you say respect. Thank you. You say. You know about come some dad? You know about that? That's it. Well, I just asked you. You, you didn't give me the answer. That's right. Come some me dad. Tome arigato, Mr. Rapato. Tomo. Tomo. Anyway. <laughs> we are all homo. Us to you, too. <laughs> homo. Homo. <laughs> Keep on training, girls. See Keep later. on training. All right. All right. Us. Uh, She's us. fucking on roids or clits in her sock. <laughs> <laughs> us. 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 Us to her. Every time she sneezes, her pussy lips go. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, miss. I don't know why I took it there. Let's Apologize. Uh, You're a nice lady. Taekwondo. Wait. Sorry. One good knuckle sandwich in a fucking Di nagger. Taekwondo. <laughs> <laughs> She, she goes, hey, oh, and then looks at another one's pussy. Isn't that what happens, madam? <laughs> E-Rock, did you fuck up, or is this uh, labeled I, You wrong? could just leave it at bumps? that. It says, Why would you even ask? Well, the last clip was supposed to be what us means to Master Poe, but we got Grandmaster Banks' de uh, definition of No, us. Grandmaster Lynch's. Banks and Grandmaster Lynch's. I are fished one too for oh. Grandmaster Banks. Oh. Wow. I'm sorry? No. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> I didn't hear it. Yes, you did, no, you dickbag. Us, Jim. Us. Us. I can't keep the grandmasters. Uh... <laughs> He's trying so hard to make me say it again. <laughs> I love Jimmy. <laughs> All right, here we go. Us. This is Grandmaster Banks now. Oh shit! Yeah. Let's walk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is now Grand Grandmaster Brooks. Okay. Uh, by the way, someone from their cell phone after post show is ready to flush my ex and us, my mother. <laughs> Fucking Brooks. It's too funny. I can't let it. That go. is really All good. Right, here we go. Uh, let's go back to what we're talking about, the Earth again. Again, what you just heard before, again, the real world, the true world, the only world, and bang. Bang, bang, bang. That's what exists. <laughs> what? Okay, gentlemen, we're going to take a little break. Mm. Um, I hope we're enjoying ourselves. I know I am. <laughs> like I know. Jesus, real party uh, happens at New Year's Eve. <clears throat> just got some awful news. That's what that sounds like. Yeah. Oh, God, I can't. Uh, yeah, tragic. <clears throat> you're, you're very somber. Yes, you are. Like, I want to hear the 52 Understand blocks, the guys. subject well, matter. Jimmy, but, you, know. you should say that. The next clip is the convict. Oh, cool. What's his name? 
Which Gans. Well, well, you have uh, <laughs> convict. Well, I'll, t- I'll tell you what, Billy Bear. Like Burley. Billy Bear <laughs> is Gans. To pull a gun on a bus. <laughs> that's who. That's who Paul brought up. Fucking Billy Bear and Gans. <laughs> nice gun. Yeah. <laughs> Can't believe it. I got us. <laughs> <laughs> Light Burley and Raj. What is his name? Raj. And R-A-G? this is the guy that this is the guy this is the convict you found on the internet, right? Hey, for hey, your, hey. For well, a radio show. Light Burley is the one that I, I found on the on the internet. He's the uh, student of. And it's Raj. Uh, he talks about fifty two blocks and the kind of people involved with it. Oh, Raj right. is the master of it. Uh, yes. All right. Let's listen to the convict. The only thing that blew me away, I'm going <laughs> to tell you straight up, and tell I stopped, straight. okay, is that he caught k- fists and then he kissed them. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, I'm sorry. That like threw me. I was like, catching kiss. Yeah. Yes. Well, that that punch was made famous by one of the most uh, prominent and well-known 52 fighters, Mother Dare. Now the uh, the stigma attached to Mother Dare was you no know, that. He he did things as far as like sexually on his own, which was he was gay and uh, he had a way of um, using the 52, knocking you out, and then he would molest you. <laughs> because of that, he didn't have one of the best reputations, but he did have a serious reputation of being able to catch punches, block punches, and return with like counter strikes that were devastate and then usually ending up the knockout. So uh, he made that catch and kiss very famous. That's great. Wow. And wow. Us, and us right to the ass. Us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> fuck. He fuck fucking that. knocks you out and then fucks you. <laughs> wow. That's a fucking... Wow. I mean, he was feared in jail, though. No, I don't tangle with him, because you might, you might catch one on the chin, and then catch oh, yeah. another one on the chin. <laughs> <laughs> How about we leave that guy home next time you do a oh. radio show? Uh... Well, I like the convicts. They probably have better stories. The other yeah. guys have regular fighting stories. How many? You could talk to Chuck Norris for a week, and he won't tell you that he knows someone who rapes people once he knocks him out. <laughs> that guy rules. Wow. How did I just stop the show? <laughs> How did I ruin every... Oh, just trying to have fun. Oh, Jimmy. I'll, t- I'll tell you why. Yes. I'll tell you why, because I think we all were just thinking of what you just said. <clears throat> Getting knocked out and then fucked in the us is I not know. something any of us want to think about no. too, too long. Well, that guy is, in, is no longer in jail. He's dead. Who is? Um, oh, the gay guy. Yeah. Oh. Did he die of the HIV? He died. Uh, no, he died. They took care of him. Oh, he got killed? Ah. Yeah. Uh. He hurt, fucked the wrong guy. He hurt too many people. Oh, he, hey, really? He mm-hmm. died of a bad us. Got the us <laughs> in the yard. What was he in jail for? Oh, I have no idea. I don't know anything about him. What was he in jail for? <laughs> Punching people and fucking them in the ass, probably. I yeah. know, imagine that was, that, was, that was how he was on good behavior. He did worse shit on the oh. outside. He had a violation. <laughs> Unpaid parking tickets. <laughs> <laughs> and he gets in there and starts fucking and everybody. And he pushes everybody with his fucking elbow and rapes them. Uh. That would be fucking insane. Oh There's a lawyer yeah. with a speedy ticket he never paid. <laughs> let's let's say to hi to fan in quotes number four to post show. All right, let's uh, listen to this. Let me have Master Stone. Master Stone. Oh, Master Stoney. Good evening, gentlemen. I'm sorry, uh, Master two Stoney. Quick, two quick things. Uh, I really look up to what you're doing here, Paul. Uh, I appreciate that you come out here and talk to us about martial arts. I also study martial arts just like you. Us. Us. Uh, us. Not you. Frank. <laughs> Frank. Us. <laughs> We're part of the O and A crew. <laughs> it's okay. It's all good. It's all like right. an us. Frank right. is like when they say Frank is, it's like saying us. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Uh, let me. Really? Oh, that's Frankus. Not at all. Frankus. You're just like us. Us. That's what he's trying to say with this show. That's great. All right, and finally, Poe talks about road rage. <clears throat> all right. Everyone has this idea of pushing out their ego and wearing an S on their shirt. You know, we should all try to handle a situation with respect. If you were brought up with respect and you have the power of the mind, you have the the ability to foresee what can happen. You have no idea if that guy has a gun in his pocket, if he has a knife in his pocket, or if he has a gang of 50 guys waiting in his in his, in his Volkswagen, which that's not going to happen. But uh, what I'm <laughs> wow. saying is that, you know, there's no <laughs> reason yeah. for us to <laughs> approach the circus pole. 50 guys you, in a Volkswagen. You have no idea if he has a beard. Lady or a bear on a bicycle riding in a circle. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know if he has uh, uh, the world's fattest woman 
Or fucking a fetus in a jar of alcohol. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, mighty. That was the worst example. 50 guys in his Volkswagen. Yeah. Couldn't he be a bus driver? Yeah, let's uh, go back to this. Uh, what I'm saying is that, you know, there's no reason for us to approach people. First of all, don't ever approach anyone. You don't stay in, in arm's distance. You stay at least five to ten Miles. feet away from someone. Okay. You got to understand something that... It is so scary out there, and if someone cuts you off, hey, no big deal. All right, roll down the window. All right, buddy, have a nice day. Okay, all good. I'm glad you're in a rush to go somewhere, but there's no reason to, to get out of the car and, and take a, a bat to these guys. There's no reason at all. How do you find in yourself that patience to deal with that, though? See, that's the thing. You train in the martial arts, and it gives you that patience because you learn a discipline with the respect that you have of your instructors and your masters and your grandmasters, they give you the patience. They give you the patience because you you bleed, you sweat, and you, you suffer, and you work very, very hard to gain the skills that you need. And it, it doesn't, it's not overnight, man. It's not overnight, okay? And, and you have to understand that. Patience will come. It takes time. It takes patience. <laughs> yeah. Us. Us. Us indeed. <clears throat> All right. Everybody's... Hey, buddy. Have a nice day. Glad to see you're in a big hurry. I think... Uh, that was good acting. I, I think... thought you were really in a car. <laughs> I said, how did Paul get audio of himself in a car? What, that was in the studio? <laughs> I, I was just interested that that would be your advice to somebody who cut somebody off, was to roll down the window and be verbally passive-aggressive with them instead of taking <laughs> instead of taking a bat to their face. Is there, is there anyone we can hear that just, just I, I just like Poe's acting on that one line where he goes, hey, buddy, I, he's, he's, un, he's thinking hey. that he goes along. Yeah. Glad to see you're in a hurry. <laughs> Hope you use regular on <laughs> Hey, don't hit the tolls without easy pass. <laughs> <laughs> you got that? Cut you off? Hey, no big deal. All right, roll down the window. All right, buddy, have a nice day. Okay, all good. I'm glad you're in a rush to go somewhere, but there's no reason to, I to hope get... you don't find a good parking spot. <laughs> hey, buddy. Hey. Hey. Use the blinker. Yeah, hey, friend, get a boat. <laughs> <laughs> About the worst things you can possibly say to somebody. The la the last My mother's a cunt. Has more dignity than fucking. Hey, buddy, here's your hat. What's your hurry? <laughs> I'd rather yell out the window. Pull out your cock and I'll suck it, fella. And, hey, hey, friend. Hey, there are no strangers. Only friends we haven't met yet. Slow down. Buy gas. <laughs> This is the worst improv I've ever heard. Uh, Here's the last track. This oh, is a God. post show ending. This is how it ended. Oh, yeah. oh boy. That was, well, it was quiet. <laughs> One second, sir. <laughs> Got it. One second, sir. I have to say it because I know if I if I oh, give me one second, sir. Master Poe at masterpose dot com. <laughs> Send me in your letters. I want to know everything ab uh, about you. And I Saturday night virus. <laughs> it's over, Johnny. <laughs> See, but then, oh, it's, oh, it's, but, yeah. but then the actual beauty of that was Eric kept telling him in his talk back that we bought him five more minutes. <laughs> so ah. after the show was over and I'd put my jacket on and left, he decided to do a radio show for another six and a half minutes. He wasn't, Holy shit. He wasn't wasn't listening to the time cues, so oh, that's we switched cruel. his headphones to program, so he couldn't hear anything we were doing. Show ends, and he just kept going. No. Yeah, I, I thought the show because he told me I had, had more time. <laughs> but, and I well, talked you didn't about notice when the, the audience was well, getting was, ready and leaving. I don't know about I, didn't, I don't know about anyone that. else, but I uh, have got to listen to a, an arena show. I think. Uh, oh yeah. I think we'll give. I'll you just another. burn your copy of that one, please. No, we'll, <laughs> I think we'll give you another show as long as you invite a lot of convicts in next time. I think it should be a second arena show. Us. If Paul would do it. Us. 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 Thank Us. you. Us. 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 It would be my honor. <sighs> So why don't you guys, like, uh, man hug or something now? No, nah, I don't think that's... I think you're going to be seeing that kind of us thing. I'll tell you what. That's just us, dude. <laughs> <laughs> us, us, only us. <laughs> I, hold on, i got to get something out of my us. Uh-oh. Oh, no, uh -oh. here it comes. Uh-oh. No, I don't think... This could be a risky one. <laughs> yeah, of course it is. Uh. 
Oh, my God. Damn. No, I'm yeah. Turtling. You almost <laughs> pushed yourself. Oh, you fucking... Sh- Isn't that the worst thing when the log pokes out like it's a fucking... I'm laughing. Like <laughs> <laughs> fucking pokes hey. It. hey, it's Ruth Buzzy. Yes. After a fire. Goldie Log. <laughs> All right, give me your... All right, you, you learned a craft. <laughs> You almost, jumped on that one, too. So you can almost see your log's little hands holding the thing going, hello, and then it goes back in behind the colon. <laughs> 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 right. Line of the day brought to you by BodogFantasy.net. Thank you, Poe. Free life scoring stats, bios, and news that will help you win. Big this season in fantasy football. They're whispering. Every, all good? Yep. Right. Poe, so, could you please get my Uskalade? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, back to reality, pal. I was wondering how you're going to do that one today. Yes. <laughs> hit, the, hit the bricks, master. All right. Can I just one? Sure. Yes. Danny, I want to shake your hand. Ah, That's all at BodogFantasy.net. To be honest, Poe. I just want to shake I, your I'm hand. Not, look, well, look, I, I just, I, I'll, out of respect, us, I'll, you know, us, us, just, us. Just, to, just to squash any problems around here, that's us. fine. But I exactly have, just I know that I have a huge problem shaking the hand of a man who wrote a letter to, you know, to try to get me in some trouble. So it would be kind of hypocritical to do that. Yeah. Once again. I, I have to say that goes against the whole martial arts thing, I think. And the with, with the codes and the respect and all that. It, yeah. just, At the time, I was angry. And that's something that... <laughs> you don't just go, I'm, hey, I'm fella, I'm writing a letter. Hey... Pal, <laughs> I just I, I couldn't I I just, I just couldn't go home happy with myself if I shook your hand about you guys, well, okay. I, I, Wait a minute, you guys got to put you got to give Paul Brady you know on what, this though? one thing. You're putting him in a world with just corporate, and you want him to be a gentleman and not react the way he reacts, which is through savagery. The way he would normally have handled that is a fucking a biting. I mean. That's I understand. I get it, Jim. But if it was like if it was like a one-time deal, like that would be fine. But I mean, you know, okay. not for nothing. But this is like at least the third time I can count. So third time, I'm sorry, I, I, I just can't I've blown up on you. No, that you've had to write letters to bosses. I mean, that's you know. All right, you know what? No, I'm not. I'm not about to get into another screaming match. It's just no. my personal opinion. Let's keep I, this I think as it's a, unnecessary. Let's keep, no, this, no, as, no, let's keep this as a cliffhanger. That's no fine. handshake. Oh, that's fine. Geez. No I just handshake. Can't. I can't right. do it. But you can rip his throat out if you like. No more, yeah, yeah no more corporate gods. Bust to your guitar hero hand, is what I'll do. Oh, <laughs> oh I just got, got rock band waiting for me. Right? <laughs> All right. I'll do it the way I know how. Us. Oh, he ust. Yeah. Give him an us back. That's better than the shake. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you just present your us? <laughs> Everyone present. Everyone show present their us. us. <laughs> All right, Bulldog Enough about the us.